There we go, I do believe we are live. Hello everyone. It's time. Satisfactory is here, it is out in early access and available for everyone to buy, and also it is installed on my PC and is running right now. I just want to check that this is every everything's actually working. It seems like it is. Can everyone hear me? Is everything good? My mic audio processing stuff crashed just as I was about to hit start. It just all froze, and I'm like, oh, wonderful. I'm glad I did that last minute sound check and noticed it was all dead. That's that's important. Oh, hey, there's patch notes. They've just been posted. I should check if there's anything important there. Oh, Katerium's a thing now. Unlocked tiers 4 to 6, yes. Emotes? Okay. And then they rebalanced a lot of things that might be important, but I think mostly it was stuff after where I am anyway, which means it's okay. Tell me how the stream's holding up. Um, we've only lost 16 frames so far, which is very few. It's a good sign. Thank you very much, D. Rudy, for that $5 super chat. Got some silver coins in the cup. Okay, Carriarel announced it in Discord. I feel like everyone in my Discord already knows that I'm doing this because, of course, they would. Now I've got to go find the link. That's effort. Why are you making me do this? Where is it? Uh... Though I hit the wrong button. I've opened a new window now. Copy. I'm just going to do at everyone link. STRIM All caps That should do it Alright, there you go, I did it, I announced it in Discord Officially, properly, it's- I did the thing We're good now, okay, let's play the game uh, I made a tweet, I did the tweet, I know I'm, I'm a professional Hang on, so I'm gonna load up the game and see if this is all working still. Okay, my, my save is still here. Yeah, I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna show you. Here we go. Alright, here's the game. Uh, tell me if the volume's okay and if the visuals are okay, because it's sounding loud to me right now, but I think that's just because I've got my headphones turned up, so I'm gonna turn that down just a smidge. All right, I think I think we're good. Oh, we're at one Timothy. That's important. We are at Timothy one. I repeat, we are at Timothy one. Right, we're going to load the game. We're going to load No Machine Sky. How many of you noticed that um, that little Easter egg I put in the first episode of the uh, of the show? Is all my saves have been named No Machine Sky? Because I like to name uh, saves in games after alterations of No Man's Sky whenever the game does something that No Man's Sky was supposed to do better than No Man's Sky does it, and this does exploration better than No Man's Sky does, so I'm like, this deserves one of these titles. Okay, um, we're gonna load up number 12, because that's where we ended the series. I then spent four hours after the alpha closed just driving about in a tractor, but that just means that I'm in the wilderness um, with a load of random junk in my inventory, having nearly been killed a few times. So we'll start up where we ended the uh, the final episode, episode 12, which you will have only just seen. For me, it happened a week and a half ago. I haven't had, to, I haven't been able to play Satisfactory this whole time. It's been the worst, but I recorded enough videos to come out throughout the duration of this horrible gap in, in between uh, Alpha and Early Access. And here we are, right back where we finished atop uh, the lookout tower. Oh, the truck's just visiting. Can I see it? There it is, in its extremely low frame rate, long distance view. The little truck is trundling along. He's getting there. And the the PC kicks in, it's got some heavy heavy lifting to do. Uh, but yeah, we've got our two towers here, because I'm like, no, this angle is wrong. I must move five meters to the right for the perfect angle. I, you don't know how much time I spent trying to get a, a nice thumbnail of this, because I ended up not using this shot. I ended up building 
like, a tower over there and going at different heights to take pictures, and then he went over there and did another tower, and yeah, that's all not here, because like, that was in the other safe. Alright. Moment of truth. Can I descend this ladder safely? Let's find out. Oh, oh, we're doing it. We're do- Oh, we're not doing it anymore! <laughs> Ow! Damage to fix-it property detected, apparently. I guess I'm fix-it property. Wonderful. I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat... I'm gonna eat some... Some nuts. There we go. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I have learned that... Um, there we go. I have learned that if you get down to three bars of health, you will heal back up to that whenever you get lower. So... Oh, we've got to do it again, haven't we? I need to make a landing pad for coming down off this this thing. Come on. Let me let me descend. Let me descend. Oh. Uh, uh, Okay, that was weird. Oh, and I've fallen off again. Right, yeah, I just started vibrating at great speed. Trying to... Why do I have such a problem with ladders? Do other people have this problem with ladders? Because, like... I haven't heard anyone else talking about ladders being a death trap. But every time I try and descend one, I glitch out or fall off. Or something. So for those who don't know, this is our factory. We've got a, a bunch of iron ore coming in. 120 per second is the max rate we can get out of our four miners we have. We've got our smelting area here. And then we've got a couple of messy belts going along because we've got a two-tier constructor system making plates and rods. Let's carry on through. And then I've got a storage system which is extremely unspace efficient and some random bits of belt that don't do anything anymore. And then I work out a more efficient system after here, which is where all the screws are made. And we get to this here, which I then had to tear apart because I realized I'd messed up the throughput. And it was all a mess. So now this container just sits here with some screws in it. And everything else just gets uh, delivered in max speed. And then we make our, our rotors and our reinforced plates. And our reinforced plates go into here. How many do we have? Uh, a lot. That's nice. Because we need them for things. And then here's our space elevator. Just as you do. Plonk that down first. Trained at the right time to watch me fall off a tower. It, I'm always falling off a tower. It's hard to miss me falling off a tower. Right, we should have tier 4 unlocked. I need to go see what we have here. I haven't actually finished all of the tier 1 and 2 stuff, but I don't care. Okay, tier 4. We've got steel production. Okay, minor mark 2. Foundry, which is for making alloys, so you can do two different ore inputs to make a, a new kind of metal. And then steel ingots, one of the things you can make, then you can craft those into steel beams and steel pipes. And then there's encased industrial beams, which seems like it's concrete and steel. A stator, the static parts of a motor, and then motors, so rotors and stators that make motors. We're learning uh, electronics here. And then heavy modular frame. Then we have improved melee combat, five inventory slots, and the Zeno Basher. Heavy electroshock self-defense weapon from melee range. Also, it turns out there was another uh, another weapon, a ranged weapon, that I never unlocked in the series that I didn't know existed, um, which is called like the rebar gun or something, which is actually what you get from researching alien carapace. I always assumed that I would get armor from that because there's an armor slot in the inventory, but it's still apparently I don't know if armor is ever going to be a thing. And then. Uh, Logistics Mark 3, we have the Storage Mark 2 with, I guess, extra slots, yeah, and twice the height. And Conveyor Belt Mark 3, 270 resources per minute. That's a... That's a weird number. We've gone from 60 to 120 to 270. So it's four and a half times the base belt speed? And what, one and a quarter times the Mark 2 speed? That's very strange, but okay, sure. Thank you very much, Nathaniel Beckett, for that those 25 uh, Hungarian Krone, 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 one of them. Oh, it's been a while uh, before catching a stream. You replaced the green landing thingy near the tower if you... Never mind, you just said it. Hong Kong, by the way. Oh, okay. Wait, is that what the currency is? Anyway, thank you very much for, for whatever form of dollars. Those... Oh, yeah, those, it, it's a dollar. It's a kind of dollar. I guess Hong Kong dollars. I've never had those before. On, on stream. Thank you very much, Nathaniel Beckin. Neat. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, we need motors for some of this stuff. Uh, we can research this with what we're making. And we can research this. 
So yeah, let's get some steel production. Absolutely. Uh, we need more rotors, we need 50 of them, so let's go start looting what we have. And we're gonna have to upgrade our factory, because we gotta get some, some high speed production going to be able to, like, try and get to tier 5 and 6 if we can in uh, the four hours that I have. Yeah, we need 150 motors, apparently. Wait, there's already 50 in there. There's not, but I am not gonna question it. And then modular frames 500. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff we need, but I reckon it's possible. But yeah, let's hop over here and just start looting the crap out of all this stuff. Give me all your rotors, and then I'm gonna get a storage thing going so we can actually build up a solid supply of these because we'll need more of them for various other things. Come on. Oh, and there's 80 in there. Yeah, we're alright. That'll do us. Oh, come on. Crap. I'm. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this belt because it shouldn't be here anymore. We're no longer inputting rotors. We are on to the next level. Uh, so I need to make uh, a storage. Uh, have they rearranged any of this? Yeah, walls is a is a an option now. I don't remember walls being a thing, and foundations. I think they were oh they were here, but I think there was different symbols maybe. I could just be going mad. That's always a possibility. Um, can I put this anywhere? Floor is too steep. Oh, there we go. Nestling it right here is perfect. However, it's Needs to rotate. Right there. And does that allow us to input? Yes, it does. Okay, we now have a storage chest. A storage uh, crate for rotors. Excellent. And thank you very much, uh, Sebastian Brun, for those 20 Danish kron, kroner, kron, whatever it is. Um, thank you very much. Here's some Danish money, too. All the currencies today. All the, uh, the less common ones. Um... I'm going to just grab the rest of what's in here, honestly, because we're going to need it. We need a ridiculous number of, uh, of the construction-y things. Oh, I just can't get through here now. That's the thing. Can I get through here? Yes, I can just sneak out that way. And thank you, uh, Bad Bad Mert, for the 1,696 Hungarian forints. These Hungarian foreigns, how many do I have to send to remember it? <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Bad Bad Mert. Many silver coins. Oh, geez, that, that's going to be some gold coins. Ooh. Here we go, let's destroy the cup. And all the silver coins go flying everywhere. Oh, what a, what a shame. Poor silver. Always fighting a losing battle. Okay, so we can start putting in some of this stuff. There's your rotors, there's your frames. There's as much as I can give you of your wires and cables. We need some more wires. And, by extension, some more cables. Let's just get tons of them. Oh, hey there, Ray. How are you doing? Nice to see you in uh, in early access. Still taking your usual route. And yeah, we'll just manually do this. Are there new sound effects? I'm hearing new sound effects. Interesting. Well, it's, I, the K messes with my mind because depending on which uh, European country it is, they're either called Krona, Kroner, or Krone. So I never know which one it is. Kind of interesting that everyone else has got this fairly consistent system of basing it off their word for crown, whereas in the UK we're like, pound, let's base it off a weight measurement. I should try exploring the cave again. That was what I was about to do. I was just thinking that uh, apparently there was some key things that I missed in the cave that it would be interesting to go see. But let's get uh, this done. Do the thing. I wonder how long it's going to take for this to get back. Yeah, it's only a 10 minute trip. Steel production unlocked. Foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. See ya. He's gonna hit the, the space elevator. Oh. oh, I think he just avoided it there. Oh dear. Up he goes. Alright, yes, so we've got new miners, which is fantastic news. Be able to use those. But I just want to take a quick poke in, in, in the cave that it turns out is right here and has been the whole time. 
Oh, and thank you very much, uh, Dotten, for those 20 Norwegian Kron 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 whatever. Can I get uh, NOK currencies? Knock Norwegian for enough, hmm? <laughs> oh, knock is Norwegian for enough. That's confusing. But thank you very much, Dotten, for those 20 monetary units. Very much appreciated. There go the silver coins. Re-establishing the whole of silver coins in the cup. The one of them didn't make it. So yeah, apparently... Apparently there's something that could be found in these caves. Other than that one summer sloop. So I'm just gonna... Have a wander. Oh, I can't get up here, I don't think. Nope. Okay. Gonna make it slow. Yeah, I don't see anything unusual. I think I explored the whole cave before. And nothing turned up. So maybe this cave just doesn't have it? I'm not seeing anything. And I'm not too keen on, on trying to see anything. Because people have been very excited about me coming across something in these caves. And so... It seems like this cave doesn't have it, whatever it is. We'll have to explore another cave another time to see about that. Hmm... Anyway, yes, so, uh, we can make steel now. Also, we can make upgraded miners. I want to see what these are made of. Uh, production. Miner Mark two. So, yeah, it mines at double the previous rate. Oh, and it's got steel in it, so we got to get to steel straight away. All right, good to know. Also, we uh, will need some manual miners to build it, of course, and also we'll need some anyway for what I'm wanting to do. So I'm going to make three... Portable miners. There we go. Uh, and how are we for general materials? I think we need more like basic iron and stuff. We have plenty in storage for when we need it, that's for sure. Um, it'll be nice to get that inventory upgrade in a minute, considering that we're okay for wires and stuff. Get a bit more concrete, maybe. Doesn't leave as much space, but it's fine. We'll make some. And I'm going to wander off over this way. Hey, hey again, Ray. I found that now he his cycle takes about uh, five minutes to, to come around. So you see him many times throughout the day. Where's our truck at? Uh, it's on its way back. Let's see if we can spot him trundling along. You can make these markers disappear, but it's nice to just have them around so you can remember where the truck goes. There he is. Hey there. Delivering all that good coal to uh, to keep our power going. How is the coal doing, actually? I should check on, like, the storage. Let's see. Yeah, there's a fair chunk in there, though it isn't full. Let's see how much it fills when the truck arrives. There he is. Oh, he's having a bit of a of a issue. Go on, it's just, it's just the end... <laughs> It was trying to stitch together the start and end of its of its loop and had a bit of a confuse, apparently. Alright, I want to check this. Uh, oh, it only gained, like, a stack. That's a concern. You got nothing else on you? Uh, yeah, that's all you have. I wonder how the mining is doing. I'm tempted to hop on board, but we'll... We'll investigate... Oh, we should investigate that now. I'm a little bit concerned that our, our power might be buggered. Uh, this means that I take control, I guess, so... I'll just drive over there myself. But yeah, there's not enough fuel in this, I feel like. Again, tell me how the volume is. This sounds very loud to me, so if it sounds too loud to you, please uh, say so, and I will reduce the volume. The truck does auto-refuel, yeah, um, but only at the receiving end for coal as it currently stands. 
because that seems to be enough. I could always make the coal supply loop back into the receiving station if I needed to, but it seems like it has plenty for the journey there and back. Yeah, we should have more than a stack of the stuff by now. So I'm wondering what's up. One concern of mine is that... Does the factory actually continue operating when I'm nowhere near it? Because generally, like... Uh, as game dev goes, you'd want to like shut down machinery that's outside of draw distance. But this needs to work, or the factory will die. Oh yeah, I should upgrade the screw belts, that's a point. That, that will speed up our entire production line if I do that. Also, by the way, I really like the look of the, the coal generator. I didn't get a chance to properly appreciate it when I built it that episode. Right, here we go, it's being loaded. I'm gonna hop out and see what it looks like. Uh, uh, two and a half stacks. Why did it only seem to bring one? Maybe it was... Weirdness with the, uh... I'm gonna get away from that, that's noisy. I wonder if it's weirdness with the, the game saving and loading. Okay, let's take a look at this. I mean, the, yeah, the belt's all full and everything. Uh, did I ever make a buffer storage? No, I didn't. I probably should have done that. Well, I guess the buffer storage is the actual loading station, really. Yeah, we can wander up here. Hopefully, uh, we don't have any friendos up here who want to say hello. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we could theoretically upgrade this, but also not really because we don't have the steel on us. But what we can do is upgrade the belt because this is going uh, too slow for the production rate of the miner. This thing's producing 120, the belt can only support 180. 100. Uh, no, sorry, 60. One of my, my numbers. I was like, 60, 120, let's add those numbers together. That's not how that works. So we can make a conveyor belt mark too. Now, can we upgrade? Yes, we can. Thank you, devs. I, I love you forever for doing that. Oh, and it looks different as well, right? Presumably that's a... It's a, a different side thing because it's a different kind of belt. And something we can do to save on cost is apparently there's another feature that I completely missed existed, which is you can build a splitter directly on a belt. So, turns out, could have done that the whole time. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll have it run into a splitter and then we'll have two basic belts coming out of it. And yeah, that's weird, but yeah, it just lines up straight. That's... okay. Sure. Yeah, we can have 120 going in, then it splits into two 60s, and that means that we have full throughput without wasting vast amounts of resources on high-speed belts. Uh, so we'll just run this down alongside this one. Right next to it, it'll have to flip around the other way. Oh, easy. E e easy. Oh dear. There we go. It works itself out. And then we'll just uh, run alongside this. And then at the very end, we'll have it run into the side of this if we're allowed to. Oh no, that's a splitter. We got a, a merger just before then. So conveyor merger. Build it wherever I'm allowed to along here. Oh oh. There. Run this belt into the side. There we go. That works. Sure. Uh, and then we've got to upgrade everything beyond that to higher speed belts. So, conveyor belt mark 2. Upgrade. 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 And now, uh, this should be loaded basically twice as fast. In fact, slightly more so because uh, we were already taking away some coal for the power thing here. So yeah, these are two 60 speed belts and they are fully Milestone loaded because of the... Exchange concluded. Fix it, freighter re-entry complete. Oh, it now informs you when the thing gets back. That's nice. And also gave me a small heart attack. But I'll, I'll accept it being nice. Also, I love the view of the... Uh, of the, the space elevator from here. Just dominating the skyline. Get back a bit and have some other stuff in shot. That's what I did for one of the thumbnails. Is I'm like, I've got to get the shot with the truck and the space elevator in the background because it's so cool. 
Uh, you can definitely get, well, you should be able to get it, it from the Epic Store. I mean, I just did, so... I'm playing it right now. Have you tried refreshing? That's an important thing to, to do when uh, a thing on a page changes. Oh, why is it slowing down? Oh yeah, these should be half, actually. Yeah, it depends. It's because it's just been... Uh, it's just extracted the fuel, so now the thing's... Be ah, there! <laughs> started glitching. The thing's... Uh, yeah, yeah it, it's just extracted the fuel, so suddenly that thing needs loading full speed. I'm wondering if, if I just stand on this, will it drive me home? Oh, it totally will! I love a game where you can actually stand on vehicles and they won't just drive out from under you. Oh, this is noisy, though. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of running about, but I am dead center staying on that spot. And most games will, will not allow you to do that with vehicles, so I totally appreciate that. And EA means early access, not the, the terrible company. Don't worry. Just get slightly poisoned as they drive through here, it's fine. Yeah, you've got... Oh, it might still say... The button probably says pre-purchase because they haven't edited the text. Maybe. But I guess buying it will give you access now. It's great, I'm basically running at truck speed. I am going to turn this down a bit, because it's a bit obnoxious for me compared to other sound effects. I'm guessing that it's effects volume? No, it made no difference. Factory volume. That quietened it down. Okay, we'll put effects back up a smidge. We'll go with that. Resume. I'm just going to hop off here. This is my stop. Let me check on the contents of the thing. Uh, two and a half stacks. We'll... we'll see how that goes. I mean, the thing's loading the, the thing at, at the rate of 120 a minute now. And I think we're not consuming that fast, at least to my knowledge. I mean, yeah, look at the, the stuff's barely moving. Like, at full speed, these use one every five seconds, so we'll be using one per second. And we're now supplying two per second, presuming everything along the production line works correctly. So there we go, that's all good. Uh, so the thing I wanted to do was out over this way. Um, but that's a cliff, so let's walk around and not just go off a cliff. Oh, hey there! Oh yeah, you can get run over by your own tractor, you do ragdoll if that happens. Well, it's confusing, like, is is the sound of the truck an effect, a, like, a sound effect, or is it a, a factory sound? Right, I gotta smash these to clear these spots. So, yeah, it turns out there's some pure iron ore literally um, right next to my base, and there has been the whole time. Actually, it's normal on the base, but still, the stuff we were using before was impure, so we were getting... 30 per each of those four deposits. There are three right here, all normal. Each of these gives 60. So this little group of deposits right here gives 150% uh, of what we've been getting so far. And it's just been sat right here this whole time, and that's the wrong button. It's been sat here the whole time, and that means we can get vastly more iron ore going to our factory gubbins, which means we can easily build more factory gubbins. So thought we actually need coal to make steel so some of that is going to be going to this um, so yeah we can't make the better miners yet because we don't have the steel stuff actually made so we'll just plonk down some miner mark ones it's gonna have them all facing in and yeah each of these should be producing 60 yeah 60 per minute so we're getting more out of these than we were than we were out of all our other Iron deposits combined, essentially. Uh, we got to get some power down here. So, uh... Hmm. We need a way of scaling this. Uh... 
we could use ramps, but also we could use storage containers as stairs, as, as ladders. And that's more fun. So, plonk, 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 plonk. Let's get up there and see where we're at. Get one more. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Build it. And up onto here. And then we'll just build a bit of foundation. Oh, we're not allowed to build it there. Hold on. I bet, though, we can build, like... Oh, we could totally build walkway and it perfectly bridges the gap. Hold on, i got to get the right kind of walkway. T-crossing. Boom. Boom. I've even got railings. On my, on my new little walkway here. And that's how we get back to the factory. Uh, getting down is a is a challenge. Let me just... Uh, we got some biomass on, on us. Oh, we don't. Damn it, I can't just make a... I can't just make a, a landing pad. I've got to chop down some trees or whatever. Just grab some leaves, they'll do a few around here. I feel like this stuff might have regrown since before, because I feel like I completely annihilated all greenery in the area, and now there's some greenery again. But I could be wrong. we got to get back to the, the base to actually use this stuff. But yeah, the, <laughs> like a few people have been like, I hope they add ladder uh, structures into the game so that we can... Uh, climb vertically, and I'm like, they already have them. Just <laughs> storages are super cheap. Just stack them, <laughs> and you got yourself a ladder with a platform at the top and everything. It's wonderful. Okay, I need 200 biomass, I believe, for these. Apparently, I got some wood as well. Only a little bit. Uh, that's not enough. Can I steal some from the biofuel production? Probably not, it looks like this is all shut down. Yep, there is no biomass here. Welp. Continue harvesting bits of leaves. Ah, stuck. All the little bits I can find, and we'll see if we can just scrounge together enough for, uh... 200. I think it's 200. I should check the recipe in case we don't need that much. Yeah, it's 200. Let's try it now. Oh. I only got that much? 150. We're almost there. Hey, Ray. He really does swing by quite often, actually. Hang on a minute. Where's... Where's Doug? I haven't seen Doug anywhere. What, what, has he got lost? Is he stuck somewhere? I want to see what he's been up to. I want to see if he's found me anything cool. Yeah, I've got no idea where he's gone to. Huh. Well, I hope he turns up. That's what he did last time. Have I just lost him for an episode and then... He just rolled up like, Hey, I've... I followed you all the way out to your coal outpost and all the way back again. Here's some coal or whatever. Duck? Doug! I wonder if you can get multiple pets. Because that would be cool, just having a small herd of lizard doggos following me everywhere. Got some more healing items while we're out here. Lord knows I need them. Hey there. Uh, how much we got? That should surely be enough, right? Don't press F for Doug. He's fine. He's totally still around. He's just having a whale of a time uh, digging up Katerium ore, or whatever it is he does. That's all I've seen him do so far, essentially. Looking for more berries. Oh, I need oil as well. That's a thing that comes along. Not quite yet, though, so we don't have to worry about it at this stage. Alright, maybe some blooming biomass. There we go, we got, uh, 200. Let's go make a landing pad. 
and then we can actually get back down to our um, our miners. Oh, we got to get the power over here. All right, uh, this power pole here is free, but I kind of want to use that for something else. There we go, that one works. Power line. Just run it straight to the edge of the cliff. I don't actually know where we're going, but the power line will serve as a marker once I've got there. Uh, can this go far enough? I'm not sure. It might be saying... Oh, wire is too long. Okay, bring it back. Uh, wire is too long. There we go, right there. And continue. Yeah, pretty much uh, got it spot on. We could even put it right on the... Uh, on the edge of this here. Gotta make sure to scale this ladder now, I guess. Right, landing pad. Uh, uh, uh. Right there. And let's get a power pole down on the ground. A couple of them, in fact. Because we've got a few, few different things to connect to things. So, there we go, there we go. Uh, connect that up to here. Oh, no. Connect there. And then connect you to there. And now we can jump down to this thing and we don't have to worry about our serious ladder issues anymore. Oh, it's such a cool effect. Everything seems slow-mo and weird. It's just jelly. It's just magical jelly. Okay, I'm going to get out of there. Oh, I put that... I put this power pole in the worst place. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna move the miner instead of moving the power pole, because reasons. Also, I like that the mining effect hanged, uh, hung around for a minute there on the deposit. Right, we've got to work out where to send this stuff. I feel like we just make a new factory area, because we've got a self-contained one over there that's doing some stuff. Now we need the whole other branch of production happening. Uh, oh, the foundry requires steel. But isn't steel made in the foundry. Do I have to manually craft it to start? Is that how we're doing this? Is that how this goes? Right, let's go back up there. In fact, you know what? I don't need to necessarily do that because this seems like I'm making a new little mini base out here. Let's just make a new craft bench. Oh, hey there, truck. I forgot you come through here. Yeah, swings right by. We got a I was going to build my factory around here, actually. I can't do that. The truck's here. Right, let's take a look at this. Okay, what, what do we need? We need some coal for a start. And then, yeah, it's all steel and on from there. All right, let's go get some uh, some coal and then we'll just manually make the initial stuff so we can make the rest of the things. Um, this kind of spoils a bit of, of episode 12 for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I realized like, the problem was that I wasn't done by episode 11. These leaves definitely just turned up out of nowhere. I wasn't done by episode 11, so I had to do one on launch day. And I'm like, I guess I'm just going to have to upload it earlier in the day. And hope that people have a chance to watch it. But yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I've got too much crap. Can I get rid of some of this crap? Actually, no. I can just research the thing that gives me five new inventory slots. And then stave off needing to deal with the crap. Or I could do both. That also works. Uh, let's see. Tier 4. There's Logistics 3, we could get to that, but... Oh, we need motors. We're not at making those yet, uh, but we are at making all this stuff, so... What can we provide? Uh, do we have enough wire? No. Of, of either kind, we have enough rotors. And we need a bunch more modular frames. Something we need more of anyway. So we'll just make a few of these. And they require rods and reinforced plates. We could maybe make crafting of them, but I haven't set up my factory to support that. This was the thing, is I didn't know they existed initially, so I just built a factory to make the two fancy products that I knew were, were a thing. Okay. We can stick those in, and then we just need a bunch more cables and wires. I should have made a cable assembler. I really should. I mean, I could. Kind, maybe some I could crab it in here somewhere. Uh, not, not really. Right, rest of the wires for you. Geez, you need a lot. And then we need 200 cables. I don't know if I have enough left for 200. Oh, I do. 
just. Yeah, I need to re I need to do the alien carapace thing. I think I'm still missing one. I think I've got nine, so I need to get one more so I can actually research the rebar gun and then have a ranged weapon for dealing with the more horrible monsters. Yeah, sorry, the episode 12 was an hour and 40 minutes long because I didn't want to stop. So a lot of stuff happened in that episode. But I, I like the, but what happened was in that episode, I'm like, do you want when the new update comes out, do you want me to a continue this save or b start a new save? And the response was yes. <laughs> so what I'm doing is continuing the save for the, the launch stream, and then um, I'm gonna start a new series as well in a new part of the map after this. So then we get to see what, what is in store, but then we also get to take uh, another shot at making a factory with armed with all the, the new knowledge that we have. Like, don't build a small contained factory with limited inputs when you can expand everything massively later. Alright, launch the thing, now I have more inventory slots, and also Milestone I can make a new weapon. Inflated your pocket dimension and have provided an improved Zeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Okay, so I need to make another Xeno Zapper. And then I need to unequip the one I have. And then I can make the Xeno Basher. There we go. And if I equip this thing... Oh yeah, that that's a lot of screen real estate. Oh, it's got a little spanner keychain thing going on. Okay! <laughs> right. This is... A lot of screen real estate is being taken up by this thing. But having it unequipped is a potential death sentence. Because it's not easy to rapidly equip the thing when you get when you start being murdered by a thing. So I'm I'm just I'm I'm gonna gonna unequip it because it's really large. Oh dear. Uh, it's, I like the Doom Marine style of wielding it, okay. Right, let's hop back down. Oh, jeez. And Geronimo. It's so cool. Okay, right, um... Should I go murder a random creature so I can get that extra carapace that I presumably need? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we've got this new thing. Let's see how it works. Let's go find someone. To, uh, to test this out on. I know there's a couple of things out here that want to murder me. Because I've run them over with the truck. I think... Is that one right there? Is that something lurking or is that a rock? That is, in fact, some wood. Uh, let's keep looking. I know you're around here somewhere. I wonder if just being repeatedly run over by the truck has killed it. Because there was definitely one around here. Let's gonna grab some healing stuff. One over there, no. How about up here? Oh, one of the big guys is around. I've got no nothing, no bone to pick with them. Oh, hello, though. I guess we're testing out on. Oh, hey there! I <laughs> just spotted. Right, hold on. We got a we got a friendo here, and we got another friendo, and a, and another friendo. There's a lot of things happening. There's two of these guys. Right, I'm gonna have you. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Smash him. Gotta get him in the back. That's the key. Got him. Gonna get you two. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You there? I strongly advise you to Busy! Busy alienator weirdness thing. Got him! Alright. Sorted. We got some alien organs, I guess. And then we got this thing. Harvest. Yep, we're, we're having this moment again. Thank you very much, D. Rudy, for that $5 super chat. All shall fear the meter-long space taser. So roughly, oh my god, I've just realized. 
The spanner has physics. That's nice. I think it's only in two dimensions. But it's a nice little touch. Artifact. That is an, a very nice touch. Should we do it? Should we harvest it? I'm wondering if there's any new messages, because there could be. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. It sounds like it's all the same messages as before, so I guess I will just harvest it. But yes, I must comply. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Okay, and that's not true. I'm not playing multiplayer. There's nobody here, really, Nada. It's not a thing. You're lying to me. I like the chat right now. <laughs> A mix of, do not harvest the sphere, you must comply, harvest it. Breaking news from Earth, widespread chaos and mayhem, world president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Well, I mean, I can't argue with that, right? That's clearly, uh, that's definitely real news from Earth. Um, definitely gotta do, do the thing. My favorite's the next one. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. My own Paternal Figure has told me that I need this, so clearly, clearly I have to do it. I, what, what, what choice do I have? Harvest. And this is the part where it stops trying to come up with imaginative things and just like, just take it, take the thing, take the sphere, just take it, take the sphere! Comply. Alright, let's do it. Oh. oh, it's a progress bar now. And the dead silence. Except for the music. <laughs> but still, it's always weird when I pick those up and suddenly this oppressiveness is just gone. Anyway, there was a friend all around here. Where are you? I hope I didn't accidentally hit you with the stick. I got very excited murdering those things. Was it Doug? Oh, oh hello there. Well, you're off. Doug? Or Doug 2? Was it a new Doug? Hello? Where'd he go? He was like right here. Did he get scared? Hey there, hello. Lizard doggo. Where'd you go? I should put away the taser. But also there might be more of them around here so I don't want to put away the taser. There is one of these things over here. This is one we haven't seen much of. Oh, another bird. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's walk towards the pretty flower. Oh, hey there! So, uh, so yeah. Oh, oh, poison. Okay, time to leave. Yep. So, they're a thing that exists. Um, I should get the rebar gun so I can murder that a lot. Ooh, rock quartz. Taking it. Ooh. go. Yeah, people keep saying that the Mercer Sphere is in fact a Matt Mercer Sphere. Oh, and there's a Summer Sloop. Should we go through this whole rigmarole again? I think I'll leave it for now, but yeah. I like that it's a cool S, then they don't even... They, they just... They just own it. They're like, we made it. Oh, no, it's a fact that's a cool S, because memes. If you don't know what a cool S is, it's that thing that all kids draw in their notebooks at some point in their school life. Because it's a cool looking S that's kind of like an infinity symbol. Alright, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was, I was out looking for a thing to kill, but I then killed the wrong things that don't give me the thing I need, so I need to keep looking. I could go to the, uh, the starting point I went to in... Uh, oh, another bird. 
a starting point I went to in the first impressions video because I know there's one guarding that. Oh hey, another, another friendly flower, bro. Having a lovely time, taking in that sunlight, putting out that poison. Oh, is that what we're looking for? I think it is. Oh, come on. Round here. Hup. 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 Hello! Smash, smash! Yep, two hits and it dies. I'll take that. Alien carapace. And his friend! Oh, have you? There it is. Thank you very much. Anyone else wants some? Hey there, Ray. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Your carapace is no match for my super taser now. Oh, you, 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 you've caused me enough trouble over the, the episodes. Well, it was actually only the early access, the, the, uh, the first impressions even. But still, so many of them lurking around here that I had to deal with at the time. Ow, he blooming got me. I'm actually quite low on health, I just noticed. This is slightly dangerous what I'm doing, but I got him. All right, I don't think I need the rebar gun anymore. But uh, let's just... Oh, there's the quartz I got. It's just no 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 And sort it. And let's go home. The plants were immune to the weapon in the free weekend. Okay, yeah, let's just avoid those forever. Hey there. Weird things just wander around. Oh we got a slug. Let's try and get that one. That seems like it's uh reachable. What are we looking at? Uh, yep, just leap over to here, and then we can scramble our way up. And we got ourselves a green parasol. Oh, you gotta hold down to collect it now. Just annoying. I guess it's so that you can't just, like, jump up and grab it. You have to actually be stood on a stable spot to pick the thing up. So where did the lizard dog go? go? Where did the lizard dog go? Yeah. Puns aren't going to bring the doggo back. But I can dream. I'm going to pick up more berries in case it does turn up, because then I can feed it. Yeah, he just turned up and was watching me, and then I'm like, sorry, just got to go murder some stuff. Oh, hey there. Yeah, I'm watching you. I'm going to save you for target practice when I get the, uh, the rebar gun. Yeah, it's easy to get back to the base. It's just like, where's the giant tower stretching to infinity? There it is. Run at that. Puns, in fact, will tend to keep most sapient creatures away. I feel like the lizard doggo appreciates good, good puns. I feel like Doug would, would, would enjoy. Hey, here's that random bit of stone mining I set up over here ages ago and just kind of abandoned because I made a complete meal of it all. Where did the lizard doggo go? A new book by Dr. Zeus. That, that would... That would absolutely be his kind of book. Can I hotbar tools? Maybe? That would be wonderful if I could. But it's not an option on here, at least. Yeah, I can't even see my hotbar in this menu. So I don't think so, but I can try. Shift 7. I don't think it did anything. No. I don't think there's a way to auto just to hit a button to equip, and that's dumb. And needs to be fixed, because now I'm gonna get rid of this because it fills up half the screen and I wanna see what I'm building. Here we go. Uh I don't wanna store some of this stuff. Yeah, the slug, the random ore that I have. All the greenery can go. Oh, this is full. Crap. Uh, we'll take the iron ore back out and put it in smelters if we're able to, which is potentially not a thing. Uh, and I need to grab the carapace, so let's do that and just get that on the go. How's this looking? 
Analysis of mycelia is complete. Please choose a new specimen to begin your analysis. This mycelia can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. Okay. Well, in 12 minutes we'll do that. In the meantime, we'll research Alien Carapace and get ourselves a cool gun. And carry on doing everything else in here. Uh, biomass, Mercer Sphere. We got three of those now, two summer sloops. There we go, we should. So I keep forgetting to sort it. It really should just auto sort. Why wouldn't it? Yeah, we've got a bunch of iron ore. I'm gonna try and dump it in here, but I don't think it'll, I'll be able to. Yeah, it's full, so I can't. I'm just going to make a new storage for junk I'm never going to use, as well as the storage for junk I may occasionally want. So, personal storage box. Can I build it on here? No, it doesn't let me. I've got to do it down here. Just nestle it here by the, the hub, I guess. Right, and you can just take the ore that I just can't put anywhere else. But yeah, all raw materials I'm going to put in there. All raw mined stuff that I can get in fast quantities, because why have it around? And then this is a... Uh, mainly just ores and stuff I can't use right now and some plant stuff. And then we've got some ingots in here. I don't care, whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can scroll this. Uh, we could research fabric. It takes, oh, it gives us a new kind of biomass, made presumably from the mushrooms. That is useful. Would have been useful before. Now, not so important. Also, fabric used for equipment crafting. Okay. Let's research it. Uh, there we go. And that's my phone. Forgot to put it on silent. I'm a professional. There we go. Right, uh, now we can presumably make fabric. So I can try that, but I need to know how much mycelia I need for the next stage of research. Let's go check that quickly. Um, doesn't let us check, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. We'll do that stuff later. <coughs> uh, also, did I miss a... anything before? I thought I might have missed a, a super chat, but apparently not, but I did miss. Uh, a new member. Thank you very much. I am the Furminator uh, for becoming a new member of the channel. Thank you very much. You now get a shiny badge and an emote. There's only one right now. I'll try and add more. Also, you can get access to the Discord if you link your uh, Discord with your YouTube and you can come say hi in there. Uh, and there's also people in there now because of the Patreon. I have a Patreon now, by the way. In case anyone doesn't know yet, I recently launched that. It's linked in the description. If you want to support me doing this as a job because you like the the entertainment that I produce, then that would be a lovely thing to do. And very nice, and also there's some rewards and stuff that will be coming uh, along already. Important thing to note, um, episodes 5 through 12 of my Satisfactory series were all uploaded there for uh, everyone on my Patreon, or mo well, everyone on my Patreon at the second tier and above to view uh, straight up, uh, like, the day I, like however long, like a week ago. Whenever episode 4 came out, I then, then at the same time uploaded episodes 5 through 12 for everyone to immediately watch on the Patreon. Uh, if you missed that, I did put it in the description of all the, the things, so you should have read it if you if you wanted that, to be able to see all that stuff early. It is, and it's, it's fine, gens, to switch from member to Patreon. They're both forms of, pay, of giving me money, like, of paying me. I can't really <laughs> complain if you switch the particular means by which you give me money. It's okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna grab some extra coal, because it's good to have plenty of that available. Oh, and thank you for linking that, uh, Patrick Jacobs. There we go, this is properly filling now. Uh, oh, and we need to restock on raw materials because we've used up a bunch making random things. Upgrade oh, screws. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I will go do that. I that is a thing I should do. Uh, restocking. Let's get four of each thing, or stacks of each thing. 
And we're probably fine for everything else, actually. Yeah, we're fine everywhere else. Okay, I'm going to wander over to our factory building and I'm going to upgrade all of these screw belts to belt mark 2. And then they'll be able to actually provide the screws at full speed. It's going to be a little bit expensive, but it will be worth it. So, logistics, conveyor belt mark 2. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Uh, oh, this is going to be slightly weird. Oh, mm, yeah. can, I, can I get... Mm. There, upgrade, 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 upgrade. And the one over here. Upgrade. Whole thing. And now, look at the clip these things are moving at. It'll take a bit for them to run through the, the supply as well, so everything's going to be, like, running extra speed for a minute. Look at this, <laughs> yeah, a stack of what, five or six hundred built up in here? So now it's going to very, very slowly work through that backlog. And in the meantime, we've got all this running full speed into here. And yeah, these are going to be able to run max speed for a while. More so, even maybe. Actually, no, it should still be not enough, think about it, because the belt's now 120 per minute. Isn't it? Is that the rate? Yeah, 120 per minute, so I'm wondering how this is filled. Because this still shouldn't be quick enough to keep up, because this takes 132 per minute. That's a little bit odd and confusing. Are things built up in here, maybe? Oh yeah, over here this one's not. Or is it? It seemed like it shut down for a second. Yeah, they're all running full pelt, which is actually confusing. They shouldn't be able to. They're coming in at 120 per second. These things... Oh, this uses them at 120, but this uses 132. I don't get it. Very weird. Anyway, um, we should have plenty of this stuff built up. Yep, we can just get a stack of rotors. And probably multiple stacks of these. Yep. Nice. So now we've used some of our, our reinforced iron plates to upgrade our reinforced iron plate production. We'll be able to make even more of them. Awesome. Oh, and thank you very much to uh, Ishem Gamer for becoming a new YouTube member as well. Very much appreciated. Enjoy your badge and your remote and your Discord access. Please do say hi, and I will say hi back once the stream is over. And uh, check in with the new people. Okay, uh, we've got all the, the basic gubbins we need. Let's get back over to our mining area and just start setting up some sort of production platform somewhere. And we want to make steel. Oh, I need to make the steel manually because I've got the. You know what? I've got a. I've got an assembly area over here. I'll just do it over here. Did we have a new challenge. What was the new challenge? I missed it. I'm afraid I'm not able to much keep up with the chat right now because I've got so much going on in the game that I want to explore. It's always a balance to maintain of like uh, focusing time on chat on viewer interaction or making an entertaining stream, I'm afraid. Okay, right, so now we can make all the fancy gubbins. Oh, we need iron ore, not... Uh, that's got no power. We need iron ore rather than iron plates. Derp, of course. Luckily, these things have been working away, so we got a couple of stacks of them that we can just grab here. There we go, two stacks of iron ore to be getting on with. Oh, there's a slug right there. Okay. Also, I've just realised, is this where he set up his base? I think it is. I think it was closer to my starting place than I thought. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he set up his stuff right here and then he used this iron deposit. I didn't realise. Because when he asked me if he set up near me, I, I said no, but actually, yeah, he's literally right over the ridge from where I am. Uh, okay, yeah, so now we just make steel ingots. Three coal, three iron. That's annoying, because it means I can't use up a round 100 or even a round 200. I'd have to use 300 to make a round number. And it makes two steel ingots, each uh, set of those. Try to collect one of the speedy doggos in a pen of sorts, then more and more and more. Uh, an interesting idea. I'm not opposed to that, except that it would be time consuming. We'll do that another time, maybe.
People need to stop giving Discord awards because it's a disincentive? Hmm? How come? Where's Factorio Towns? It's been it's been gone a while and maybe it'll be back one day, but maybe not, I don't know, maybe. There are many maybes involved in, in the status of Factorio Towns as a series. Factory Town, on the other hand, is going strong. There'll be an episode of that out tomorrow. Right, now we can make some steel beams and some steel pipes. Beams take three, pipes take one. Well, that's weird. It's going doop 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 doop. Why is it like doing an off-kilter beat thing? Very strange. Okay, let's just make a solid mix of both materials. And then in case industrial beams, yep, it's five concrete and four steel beams. Let's make like five of them. Uh, and then a stator is steel pipe and wire, so we can make a good few of those. Uh, and then a motor is two stators and two rotors. Makes sense except for the fact that it's two of them for each. And then a heavy modular frame... A lot of steel pipe and case industrial beam, screws and modular frame. So that is the, that's the real fancy stuff. I mean the motor is as well. The motor and the heavy modular frame are clearly the uh, the next steps up from the uh, reinforced iron plate and rotor. And the modular frame is this interesting middle step between it to make it sort of like the reinforced iron plate was the easy one, the rotor was the harder one, then the modular frame sort of in between, and then the heavy modular frame is the harder one out of the two when it comes to motors. Yeah, hopefully we don't need any uh, heavy modular frame, because I can't make any. Unless I grab some more iron. Right, can we make a blummin' automatic steel thing now? A foundry. Nope, we need some of the basic iron uh, pipes, and I, steel pipes, and I use them all up. Oops. Okay, you give me... No, I'm not going to take the stack from you, because you're going to make a racket in my ear while I'm crafting, if I do that. So I'll do that one over there, and let's uh, make a few more of these. Its analysis. Oh, excellent. I'll hop over there later. We've got more important things to do right now. Oh yeah, yeah we've got 404 viewers not found. That's uh, one of the highest view ships I've ever had on a stream, or even a premiere. So that's exciting. People like Satisfactory. Makes sense. There we go. So we've made 100 steel in total now, I think. Or 200? 200. 200. Uh, so now I can make some more steel pipe. Just make plenty of them. There we go. And then we'll make a foundry to do the, the stuff automatically. Now we need to start thinking about like building a factory floor and doing all that. Maybe we extend out over that way because I don't want to go over where the truck goes because that's just going to mess up the truck in all sorts of ways. So I'm thinking we just get some foundation, we spin it like this way, get past that rock there. And then, yeah, this sort of area should work. And we just start building this out. Oh, eh. And I'm going to just leave it open and just build as I need to. Because we're just going to, like, as we go, find stuff we need to do. So I'm not going to encase myself in walls and limit myself to uh, to operating within them this time. Uh, I'm going to make a lookout tower, because that makes this sort of work a lot easier. Uh, lookout tower. Plonk it by that rock, because it's not like I can build anything around that rock, because it's a rock. And let's hop up here, and we'll probably take damage going back down. We've got plenty of healing items right now, so it's fine. Okay, now we can do this properly. And just build this out. Everywhere where there's room for it, basically. And then we'll see 
how many foundries we can fit and how many we can support with the supply that we have. And we've got to bear in mind that as soon as we've got some proper production going, we can set up Miner Mark IIs and get twice as much ore out of each of the miners. Oh, I didn't line that up. That's actually just not connected to the stuff, I think. Oh, we're out of concrete. Damn it. Right, here we go. Descend. This sail, oh, come on! Uh, uh. Why do I have such a problem with ladders? Let me descend. I'm, I'm stuck. Okay, I started glitching. Let me descend the ladder, please. But in a normal, controlled fashion. Okay, everything's fine. It's all fine. Right. Uh, so we're gonna plonk down a foundry and see what it can do, like what its production rate is. So yeah, it's got. Two inputs. Uh, why can't I build it? Because of concrete! I'll go get more concrete then. Fine. Might actually just start mining that stone over there. That might be better. Oh, don't go run over, don't go run over. Everything's fine. I guess I could have jumped down onto that rock to reduce the fall damage. Uh, we're going to pick up that miner, because I'm going to use it to make another miner. Encroaching. Encroaching. Oh, is there actually a deposit on top of this? Oh, there is. Okay. Didn't realize it was a lower one. There we go. I oh, just done build one of the foundations. Yeah, but that's will just mean I have the problem in two minutes' time when I try and build a second foundry. Let's get it permanently sorted. Here we go. Can we get power to here? Yeah, we can see that power pole up there, so we can just steal off that one. Grab. Down to here. Can't afford. Lack of concrete. Okay, let's just go start crafting. We've got some stone on us, luckily. What's everyone in chat up to? My true nemesis is indeed ladders. Oh, we got a conversation about uh, Satisfactory's no good because uh, you can't build mega bases and all that rubbish. There's no point in any criticisms of Satisfactory that only exist because Factorio exists. It doesn't make sense. If the criticism didn't, like, if the criticism wouldn't exist, if Factorio wouldn't exist, then you've gone too far in comparing Satisfactory and Factorio. I don't know what the actual discussion was, but I'm presuming it was something to that effect, because a lot of people keep saying, I don't like Satisfactory because you can't build mega bases, because it's not a procedural map, etc, etc. And I'm like, it's not about mega bases, and there's nothing wrong with having a pre-made map. That Pre-made maps take more work. Devs, like, only pick them if they really want to put the effort in, and these devs have put the effort in, in making a cool map. So, I'm... I'm not... is... Mm, just... Just don't be like that. Don't be like, Satisfactory's no good because it's not Factorio. Obviously it's not Factorio. If it was Factorio, then no one would play it because Factorio already exists. Can I build... Okay, I've got to think... Yeah, I've got to do power line off that and then it builds a power pole. That's how it works. Yeah, okay. And... Oop, uh, uh, buttons. Connect. Now the thing should be running. What's the rate of this? 30 per minute. That's fine. We don't need a high rate. But yeah, this should go straight over the route that the truck takes without getting in its way, I hope. That might be a bit close. We'll find out. And then we'll get it run down to the ground. Uh, actually, just like back here. On and out of the way, really, I think. And then get a constructor. We're clearly going to need concrete in like steady, in a steady rate. So I'm just going to build a little thing here to make the stuff, so we have it. Uh, power pole. Connect it from. Oh, we can't connect it from that. Or that, I think. Oh no, we can connect it from that. Okay, well, I'll do that. It's slightly bad practice, probably, but. Now we've got a few different options for connecting stuff down on the ground here. Uh, I need to make more cable. 
fill all the containers I used as a ladder. No. That'd be so much work. That'd be so much stuff. <clears throat> yeah, there's some sort of d debate uh, going on in the chat right now. But if anyone, like, who's, what's going on? Is any, if anyone starts, like, hurling abuse, then please do uh, yell at me a lot about it and I will get rid of them. I don't know if that's happening. What's, what's going on? What's happening? No, it's, it's mostly civil so far. People are getting very up in arms about this and I, like... The argument I came up with the other day, which I think I'm, I'm probably going to make a video about this. Uh, I don't think there's a Powerpole Mark II, to my knowledge. There could be. No, there's only the one. There might be another one later down the line. But yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to make a video um, about the the right times to compare Satisfactory to other Factory games. And I'll also talk about Factorio and Factory Town at the time. But the basic argument that I want to put forward for that is no one complained that GTA didn't have a grapple gun like Just Cause does. But they're both open-world driving and fighting games. They're both about shooting and they're both about stealing cars and they're both about causing mayhem and having fun in an open world. And at their very core, they're the same basic game. But no one has ever said GTA needs Just Cause's grapple line because Just Cause already has that down. GTA has its own things. So there's no need to, to say, like, Satisfactory... Like, there's, there's no reason to say Satisfactory should have this feature Factorio has, or that Satisfactory is a bad game because it doesn't have a feature that Factorio has, because it's doing its own thing and it's being its own game, and if they were the same game, why would... what, what would be the point? Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, Foundry. There it is, and we can build it now, and we'll build it right here. Just right next to all the miners. And yeah, configure Foundry, make still ingots. It takes four seconds to make. It takes in 45 ore per minute, so it's a weird number, and puts out 30 steel per minute. So these things are each making 60 per minute. Later on, they'll be making 120. So we can have many foundries working on this. The issue will be the coal supply. We don't have so much of that, we only have 120 being made, and half of that potentially could be going to power. So we could probably get two foundries running without starting to panic too much about coal. But it's a risk. It is a risk. Uh, I don't... I haven't considered stream chat overlay because the stream chat already appears next to the stream anyway, and anyone watching back the stream on YouTube can see the stream chat at the side anyway. So, there'd be no point in also displaying it on the screen, I'd just be duplicating the chat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna build a second foundry, and we'll see if we can push it to that. But it might be... a bit much. So yeah, coal is the serious issue here. Oh, I need more of the concrete stuff now. Can I make another one? Probably. Whoa there, Sir Q. Slow it down. That's a bit much. It's a lot of words to say all at once there. Okay, one more of those, and that's all we need. I can get more coal, but it's difficult. They're, they're deliberately put in hard-to-reach places, and there may only be three deposits that exist. That's the thing, actually. I wonder if they've added in any more deposits around the map, because as it stands, they've only really put them around the grasslands area, as far as I can tell, and there's a lot of regions of the map that are lacking in deposits. Okay, configure this for steel. Uh, let's get some iron running into these. And, I mean, we can just have one feed this, actually. At the production rate. Well, actually, only if we get the uh, upgraded thing, though. So, yeah, let's do this, and then let's immediately put a splitter on the thing earlier on. Oh, no, we'll have a separate. We'll have an another minor feed into the other one. Uh, going there. And in the middle, we got to get some coal supply coming in. So we got to go steal that from up here. I know we can build bridges to them, it's just a lot of effort to set up all the, the truck stop stuff and have two more trucks doing the ferrying. 
I know I can do it, and at some point I will do it, but right now I can't be bothered. Oh, don't worry, I know about the additional biomes. I went on a big old explore after I uh, ended the series. Because I had a bit more time at the end of the weekend to, uh, to do that. And I discovered just how ridiculously uh, expensive the map is. All things told. I'm gonna raise this up. Connect this. And then send it off this way. We've got some raised ones going along here. They really need a way to raise power poles as you build the belt instead of having to... Oh, not the power poles. Conveyor poles. Instead of having to build the pole and then build the belt when you're doing it that way. Like, just have there be a way to scroll to raise and lower this. That's all I want in life. Alright, let's extend this as far as it'll go. And there. And continue. See if we can get to the edge. Oh, oh. There. And we'll just have it go to the edge of the cliff right here. And then go down. And we gotta find some space for it to do so. Uh, uh, uh. What's it encroaching on? Oh, conveyor is too long. Uh oh. Oh. We're stuck between too long and too steep. I can't bring this down unless I give it a, a middle step. Can I... Hang on, can I run it into one of these? Oh, I can run it into one of those! Yes! We're doing this! We are using our ladder! As a means of lowering the belt. Ah, oh, we're still stuck between too long and too steep. Damn it! Can I loop down? Can I loop down into one of these? Oh, I saw blue for a second there, but I think it was something weird. Oh, why? Oh, why low gravity? Oh, I didn't take any damage. Okay, must have borked a bit. Oh my god, I can use this as a loop to lower the belt down. Okay, so we have it loop round once to the one below. Then can this one reach the ground? No, loop it again. Can this one reach the ground? This is the best thing. Still not allowing it. Loop it again. <laughs> What's it encroaching on? Oh, the miner's there. Damn it. So this is a way of making a loop, though I believe there is a smaller scale way of, of having uh, a loop of an item drop. Can, let me just try this again. Maybe I can get it to work. Oh, it does work. Okay, we can do, if we position it just right, we can get it down here. I've lost it. There it is. Uh, swing it around this way. And just bring it straight through this gap here. I literally just have it run into one of these. A uh, slight amount of clipping, but I'll, I'll accept it. Then we get a splitter. Will it allow me to place it along this? Yes, it will. There. And then... This should be able to swing around to here. Yes, it does. Okay. So that, my friends, once the coal arrives, which might take a little bit of a while with how many times it's got to loop around, uh, but that, my friends, is steel production. Let's follow it up and, and, and see if it is actually working. Yeah, here it is. It's coming. At a pretty solid rate, too. But only 60 per, sec uh, per minute overall, so it won't be able to maintain both of these running at full pelt. But that's okay. We'll just let it go at the rate that it can go. And then out of here, we'll get uh, some steel. And the rate, I believe, is 30 per second. So, oh, 30 per minute. I keep saying per second. We're not dealing with those sorts of speeds in this game. Uh, so we can just get a... A merger, like, right about here. Like, someone told me you can plug the mergers into the machines, and I don't see how that works. I'm not following. Apparently you can do that and it will automatically connect between, but it's like not positioned right or anything, so I don't know if that's really going to work. Let's have a belt come out and we'll see if it does the thing, but I don't believe them. Well, there's no power to this, we got to sort that out. Oh, you can't get between these. Well, crap. 
Okay, gotta remember to put some walkways between foundries. Important thing. Plant that right there. Uh, power, power, and then connect you to you. There we go, it's all running. And yeah, if, if I see steel coming out of here, then I will stand corrected, but I don't believe it. Yeah, it's not a thing. You can't just directly plug them in. It was only one commenter that told me that, and then someone else replied with, no, you can't. So I wasn't full of confidence about it. Unless, like, you can actually get it to just go onto the thing. But I'm not, I'm, I don't think it's a thing. Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong one. I need a uh, merger. Yeah, you can put it right in front. Oh, well, I messed that up, didn't I? Try that again. Merger. Oh, you can't line it up with the machine because that's not actually correct. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, you can put it right in front and connect a belt directly through. And that's fine. And, oh, really? What if I do this? Nope. Okay, we gotta we gotta mess with this a bit. Doesn't like it. Come out a step first, maybe. And then turn. You know what? Well, there's a better way of doing this. You can cheat. To realize you can make everything lovely and grid bla grid based, grid based, if you just start using splitters and mergers to make right angles. Like just have one input and output on them. And it future proofs it too. So literally just uh, put one in like that. Or not like that because I've messed it up, but you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it might have trouble actually going across, in which case we can move stuff around, but. Let's see if this works. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, we got everything out by a tile. Fair enough. Because the belt would just clip into the foundries. I need to put these back on my hotbar because I'm taking forever to do this, so select. No, that didn't work. What's the button again? <laughs> Hover and number. Oh, I thought, it, for some reason, I thought you hit shift for it or something. Right, six, seven. There we go. Back to having it like that. Merger. Step it out a little bit. I have the output facing that way. Did I line it up correctly? Yes, I did. And then over here, same thing. Just line it up with the one across. Output facing towards. And then we can go belt. Oh, no. Just come on. Belt. Belt. It's going that way, but it should be connecting right. And then you do that. No more bends, all just right angles. And then it comes out here, and we don't know where it goes from there. We'll work it out. So... Um, now we need to work out what we're doing with the steel. I know we can position mergers and splitters onto belts. I literally just did it like two minutes ago over here, and I've done it multiple times already in this stream. I didn't know it until after I finished recording the series, but I've been using it multiple times already. I know it is true that I can also just create spaghetti. That is also um, a valid way of playing the game, and what I've been doing a little bit back in the factory over there. Oh well, yeah, you can you can kind of connect it directly by putting it super close. It does work that that way. Set is spaghetti. Yes, that is a good name for the game. So, we I'm gonna go look at what recipes require steel. What kind of ratios we're looking at for these? I mean, I guess first of all, it goes into making um, plates and pipes. We gotta find out if we need any of the basic stuff after that. Oh, this is the wrong thing. Oh, I never configured this. I forgot that you have to do that. It's not like... Uh, actually, no, there isn't a game that it, that does crafting without you telling... I was imagining it like it was a furnace. It's being a derp. Okay. So what requires steel? Is it just... Yeah, so they require ingots, they require ingots. And nothing else does. We can have it all go into making beams and pipes. And from there... Uh, we need some beams to make the encased industrial beams. We need some pipes to make the stators. It's pretty 50-50 between those. 
Uh, but then you get to heavy modular frame and you need a crap ton of... Oh, you need both. You need the encased industrial beams and you need the pipes. It's a roughly equal ratio, I think. All things told. Yep, four of those to make one of these. And then you need 15 of those and five of those. So that's 20 of those and 15 of those. And some of the pipes are going to go into making stators. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much 50-50 making beams and pipes, though the requirements for them are different, so we've got to bear that in mind that it's a, it's a different ratio of them being supplied. What I'll probably do is two-thirds into uh, beams and one-third into pipes, so it's a bit of a favouring on pipes overall. And I'm going to get rid of those leaves because they make the whole thing look bad. You went a deja vu for the time you had deja vu, that's impressive. Okay, so first of all we just need some basic constructors. I need to find out what the speeds of them are as well, that's important. Okay, constructor. And you know what, we can literally just put this like right here. Now I'm using the right angle thing and I'm keeping everything two dimensional. Uh, might need a little bit of wiggle room just to make sure it works right, so we'll give a bit of space. But yeah, that should be more than enough space to make this whole thing work. And then we'll start building a few of these. Uh, so let me check the crafting speeds. Uh, currently, we are producing at most... Um, 60 per minute. But probably more like 40 per minute. In fact, yeah, 40 per minute should be exactly how many we're actually making. Uh, steel beams, they take 30 per minute. And what about steel pipes? 15 per minute, so two making pipes, one making those. We want two thirds to go into this. So, we've got to do some slight bit of splitter merger wizardry. So actually we might not have the space we want, because what I'm thinking is... A splitter, and then, yeah, I didn't leave enough room. Move it all up a smidge. In fact, we'll just make the setup I'm trying to make here and see what that comes out as. So then we have a merger here. Like so. What I'm going to do is a belt going through to here, through to here. One coming out here, we don't know where it's going right now. But then we're going to have one going from here to here. What this means is that two-thirds of the steel are going into this and one-third is going this way. This will then feed into a single constructor making the steel plates. Uh, so something like there, does that give us enough room to do a bit of a shimmy? Ah, oh, it doesn't. Okay, got to move it up a bit. Constructor. Is that enough? I think that's further away. Yeah, that's further away. That should shimmy right. There we go. Easy. And then you make it still beams. These guys, I'll move them up just to keep them aligned with everything else. And yeah, we want two of these. And they are... Uh, actually, hang on. So I'm, gonna, I'm making... I'm using 30 on that. And that's how much it should be. 60's being made at most. So we're putting 40 in, but it's more like a little bit less. I think it'll I think the ratios work out. I could be derping about it, but I think they make sense. We can always mess things about later if we need to. It'll produce 10 per minute of these, and then if we have one of these, that's gonna produce 15 per minute of those. Maybe we only need the one then. We'll try it with the one and see if it, it fully uses the steel supply. Get a power pole. Connect it from... Uh, uh, come on, let me see it. There we go. Connect to there. And you connect to these two. We'll see how that's looking. Things will have built up though, which will kind of mess with our ability to see. So I'm actually going to just empty these and then we can see how the consumption goes. There'll be a build-up of coal as well. So yeah, it all goes into here. This should work fine. It should be outputting 60 
per minute, which is the most this can do. I don't know if this game needs spreadsheets. There's not that many steps of production. I've never used uh, spreadsheets in Factorio, for example. That's more complicated. But that's usually because I just make a simple rule of like, make one per second of this, and then I apply that to the entire system. And then it's easy to just work them out item by item. So yeah, you can see that two go, and one goes. Two go, one. Thank you very much, uh, Rill, for that five pound super chat. I just lost the game. No, Rill, what have you done? You've doomed us all. We've all lost the game now. I've lost the game so many times this past week after explaining it on a stream, and now everyone who was watching that stream keeps losing the game. It's an endless loop. We're trapped now. We're going to be losing the game forever. And yeah, well, that's a lot of currencies today so far. Thank you very much. More silver coins for the silver coin gods. So we got 14 of these made, and we got 21 of these made. So yeah, it's making more steel pipes than it is making steel beams. But that's probably okay-ish. Like, I think the ratios work out. I think this is being used full pelt. I mean, yeah, it is. We can see that, it's, that that's the case. The limitation is the belt speed. And by the way, the game, uh, people keep coming up with different uh, places, like originators for the game. The game came about uh, from two people waiting for a train um, that was going to be like six hours or something. And they, ha they were completely bored out of their minds and were like, let's make a game where the rule is don't think about it. And then they played that for the train journey and then they told their friends. And that's where the actual origination of the game comes from, by the way. Because people keep saying it's from other places. It may have gone to other places in the meantime, but the origination was uh, a train platform. No one knows where. Okay, so it seems like this is working pretty well. Let's get some more uh, foundations built out. Oh, we're going to need to go loot our constructor full of concrete. Here we go. Yep, there's a stack of 100 in here, very nice. I might actually make a belt going out from here to one of the storages. Uh, oh, oh, can I make it? Aha! Oh, it counts as encroaching. I was hoping I could get it to sneak past. I reckon it might be possible. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, there! Got it, we managed to get past the power pole. I'm just going to put you in there. Uh, what are you encroaching on? That. The miner. Uh, oh. No, you're just... Oh, is it the miner? Damn it. We can't get round that. Or oh, might might actually be encroaching on the constructor itself, looking at it. Yeah, I'm not allowed to go over there. Let's go round, maybe? I... I'm not sure. I think we can go like this. Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, here's a belt. Goes round underneath here. And loops around to the front of this. And is the belt direction correct the whole way along? Yes, it is good because of the input side of the, uh, of the storage thing. So now we'll be storing a bunch of concrete. That's all good. Upgrade which belt, no one? Which belt is currently lacking in throughput? Because that stone supply is... I, I believe it's 30. It might be 60. The concrete supply will therefore be less. None of that needs to be 120. These iron supplies are enough. This coal supply is enough. I could maybe make this coal supply higher, but the gaps in it are because the coal is being used elsewhere. Because we need it for power. Nothing needs upgrading. Oh dear. Right. Oh, hey truck. It's cool to watch that just trundling about. That is a very neat system for the trucks. Just being like, just program in a route and have it follow that from now on. I like it. Oops, I've just placed one randomly there. The one after merging the steel. There is no need for that because as I mentioned like five times, those two foundries make 30 per minute each. A belt supports 60 per minute. 
You're fine. It's fine. It's there's nothing. It's fine, guys. It's okay. Do, do I need to show you the numbers again? 30 per minute. 30 per minute. A single belt. 60 per minute. Are you good now, guys? You alright? You, you're doing okay there in chat. <laughs> oh dear. Right, carry on with the foundations. We're going to extend out this way. I think I'm going to have the factory turn a corner and go down this route. Oh, damn it. Uh, I can't make another one. Why not? Oh, because I'm in destroy mode. Right. Concrete. There we go. And I'm out of concrete again. Oh, dear. Don't... I know it makes two steel, but it makes 30 per minute total. It's... I know how the numbers work, guys. Also, thank you very much, um, Mandanara for that, uh, those ten Polish, uh, Zlotys. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Some more silver coins for the silver coin gods. I know it makes, guys, I know it makes two steel each craft, but the per minute figure is the total. It makes 30 per minute. So what, no one? What are you going to say? Oh dear. Look, it's 45 per minute goes in of each of these, and it's... Because it's it's the it does the it does the numbers, guys. It does the numbers, and yes, it's proven by the. F Thank you, um, Brendan Hall. It's empty, therefore it's pr it's empty and quick enough. My favorite thing is when ninety percent of the chat now gets what I'm saying, but there's still a small handful that's like, no, the numbers they they're meh. Okay, so we have uh, a whole bunch of steel pipes and a whole bunch of steel rods, and I need to remember what the re the extra recipes are. Now we get to having assemblers, I believe. Everything from here on out uses uh, more, more than one thing in putting. It was backing up earlier because I hadn't hooked it up to anything yet. Uh, this is the wrong thing. This is the thing I want. Okay, so we need to make... Uh, a case industrial beams, that is four steel beams, five concrete. So we have a concrete supply over there that we can just hook up to that. And then the stators are wires and steel pipes. And that is actually pretty simple. Oh, but then there's the heavy modular frame and that messes it all up. So we need to split the steel pipes into two different locations, have some of it go to making the heavy modular frames, have some of it go to making the stators. So we'll have the stators off to the side and yeah, we can make all this work pretty well. Yeah, the coal belt is the limiting factor of the whole system, uh, and that is deliberate because we need coal for power, primarily. <laughs> I could probably make it so that the coal supply was quicker, I could probably make it so that more was coming through, but not massively, and later on it would reduce again anyway, so it's not a major issue. Uh, so we need a splitter. Uh, right here. Uh, let's line it up. There. And yeah, outputs... Uh, wait, did I do that right? No, the input's in, in, the input's in the wrong place. Turn, 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 there. Line it up. There we go. Plug that in. And then it needs to split two different ways. Uh, first of all, we'll get this done, though. So we'll get uh, assemblers. Oh, we want it to go around a corner as well. Let's have that all happen. Because we're running out of space. Now we got a bit more room. Let's have the assemblers. We've got room for that. Oh, hey there, Spam. I'm just gonna time you out. Doop de doo. Time out. Oh dear. Uh, I can overclock the coal miner, and that is probably the, the, the thing I want to overclock most. 
Um, so that's a good point, actually. I should definitely go to that, overclock it 250%, and put a level 2 miner on it, which will more than quadruple the supply. That, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's so many ways that I can increase the rate that I'm getting stuff off that deposit, even now. Um, so I definitely need to do that soon. Uh, probably later this stream. Uh, how far are we in? Uh, not, we're, we're not up to halfway yet. I'm gonna, the stream's gonna end, uh, just before the four hour mark, because YouTube starts to bork things if you get past that, and four hours is, uh, a nice amount to have. So... Assemblers. Oh, I need to actually make sure I put the foundation in first, otherwise I might not be able to build it beneath the assemblers. We've had that problem before. So let's go get a bunch of concrete from our new concrete store, and, in the, and at the same time, we can start bringing the concrete over. Uh, I want it to actually swing round. Oh, can we put it on this rock? No. What do you mean floor is too steep? Oh, because, yeah, the floor, the, the... There we go, we can, we can sit on top of that rock. Nice. Um, and then we'll put a little, uh, little rise up here just to hop over these things. Then, oh, connect, connect, bring this down, and it'll just run alongside the factory for a minute. And thank you very much, name that I could not possibly pronounce, for those 200 rubles. Very much appreciated. And that's going to annihilate any silver coins in the cup right now. Did it do it? I didn't see. Presumably it did it. There we go. So where's our concrete supply? And we'll have an assembler here that... Uh, uses that. Oh, and we need to make the foundation. Yeah, that's what I went for. Just extend it all by one. That'll give us the room we need. Oh, uh, uh. There. I think I got it all. Okay, so we need like three of these. In fact, hold on. Some of these crafting recipes need more than two things going in. Are we going to have to mix belts? Because that makes me concerned. Don't like doing that. Because it's easy to make for things to go very wrong when you do that. So yeah, let's line these up with like this tile. And I'm going to have room here for like a wall in future potentially. And we're just going to have like at least three of these alongside each other for the various different things we need to do. Uh, oh, is that gap too much? Oh no, that's the correct gap. Okay. Uh, so you, I want you to make uh, encased industrial beams. That is four steel, uh, 16 per minute of steel beams, so that is actually less than we... Oh no, we make 10 per minute. Okay, yeah, that, that does work. And then concrete coming in. So this one, do a shimmy, go into that side, so we've got room for this guy to go into there. Uh, and then you're making steel beams, as soon as we power the thing. Uh, then this one here... Um... There's stators that we need, but we also want... Oh. There isn't an option to make the fancier modular frames. How do we make them, then? Are they a higher level tech? Do we have to start by manually crafting those? I'm, I need to go take a look at this. Oh, that is Alexander Dimitrovich. I wasn't sure, because I knew... <laughs> I, like, I can't recognize the characters enough to, to know that it's the same name I've seen before. Thank you very much, Alexander. Um, so, heavy modular frame. Yeah, it requires four different things. So, like... It must be made in a new machine. Everything else still requires them in twos. Right, so we've got to think about that some entire other time. It's not a thing yet. Also, I need to find out, is there any copper nearby? Boop. Oh, uh, 180 meters that way. Right, I'm going to go scout that out and see if we can get some copper wire production off there, and that means we can make the stator with the steel pipes. So it's it's down this way. It might be up on that on this ridge, unfortunately. In which case we've got to make another uh, another construction stack. Oh, it's gone. I, it really doesn't hang around for long. I wish they would hang around longer on the the thing before 
They disappeared. Yeah, we gotta climb up here. Alright, let's make a stack of... of storages. In fact, do we have the storage twos yet? I haven't unlocked it. I should go do that in a minute. Actually, no, I think I don't have the stuff for it. Oh no, we're out of iron plates! Oh, I've gotta go back to the base for that then. I guess we can get some more research done in that case. Trying to read chat while also walking, and I and you end up wandering off when you do that. Oh, I hope I can still climb up this. Uh, uh oh, it's uh, it's no longer a functional ladder. Climb back down, <laughs> and uh, let's try the other side. Like I guess. The oh yeah, this will work. There we go. We've got a clear path up. I'm using storage stacks, stacks rather than lookout towers because storage stacks are much more easily adjustable. You can put exactly how many you need and uh, I don't know, it's, easy, it's easier. And then also you can use them to, to loop down belts. I should build a truck to move e easily to and from the base. I mean, it's, it, it would take just as long to get in a truck and drive over as it would be to scale the thing. Okay, let's just gather... Oh, well, let's let's sort out the, uh, the researches. Is there anything interesting here? Not particularly. Not here. Yeah, so let's do Tier 4, if we can. Oh, it needs motors, though. And we're not there yet. So, in the meantime, let's make... S scan for mushrooms. I need one of those for that. There we go. Oh, and press the button. Off you go. Shouldn't take long at all. Oh, no. Put that back. And we got some research done. Next up, mycelia. R&D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife. The blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. Uh, there's your mycelia. Or not. Wait, no. Select. There you go. Begin analysis, and then we need fabric. Forgot to check how much we need, but that is a thing that's crafted. Let me look at the recipe for it. Fabric is made of leaves and mycelia. Pretty simple. Uh, have I got some leaves in here I can borrow? Not many. I'll just run out and grab some. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can actually harvest the flowers. And there's actually quite a lot of these around. For uh, leaves and petals. You actually get quite a lot out of them, because they're so tiny that they're very densely packed. At some point I need to try using the colour gun as well. I haven't actually built the thing yet and s seen what it does. I don't know how much you can do in terms of colouring things. I swear these things are like regenerating. There's just so many of them. I was like, I'm gonna get all the flowers and then so many. So many flowers. Hey there, Frank. Oh, Frank. In my head at times I've called Ray Frank. <laughs> hey there, Ray. You're called Frank now, apparently. It was one of the names I considered as like a generic funny name to call a giant flying manta ray creature before I was like, now Ray makes sense, he's literally a manta ray. There we go. All the flowers are gone. And now if we ever see flowers again, we know for a fact that they can regrow. It's always useful. Okay. Uh, fabric. Make a ton of it. I don't think we need the mushrooms for anything else at this stage. Actually, we might want to keep like ten of them. There we go. Uh, put the rest of the, of the leaves away. Also, random other crap we've ended up gathering, like the stupid number of petals we got from that. This is pretty good. Um, how long has this got left on it? Uh, another eight minutes. We'll probably wander off before then. Uh, how about this? Is it back? There we go. Rebar gun. Rebar gun, spiked rebar. And a way of making biomass out of uh, alien carapace. Which is neat. So, doop. Doop. And then we need tons of wire. 
as these always seem to. And doop doop button. And now we can make the rebar gun. Let's uh, let's check out what's required for that. Uh, all we need is some screws. Okay, easy. And rebar gun. Takes 25 things to craft it. Doop. And then spiked rebar, literally just made of iron rods. We can just make a, a ton of this stuff. I don't know how much, it, like, if each one is a shot, or if each one is, like, a magazine clip, whatever you call it. But the stack size is 50, so that's where I'm stopping. Okay, let's equip this thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. So there's a, there's a spring thing to it. Let's try firing it. Oh, R to reload. Okay, and then... Oh, you have to reload per shot. Okay. Hopefully it, it just insta-kills then. <laughs> or uh, I'm in for a rough time, potentially. Alright, that's all that good stuff. And yeah, this is a lot less obnoxious than the, the Super Xeno Zapper, so I think I can walk around with this equipped and not have issues. Uh, okay then. I just got to stock up on... Oh, I'm going to put away, like, the fabric and stuff that I've got, because I don't need it right now. Wait till that's all done again. But i got to go stock up on iron plates. Let's just have, like, five stacks of the stuff, because we just blasted through it, and we've still got a lot of everything else. More wire. Oh, no. Don't put that in there. Oh, dear. And then plenty more concrete, because the concrete production rate down there isn't to my liking. Uh, let me let me complete the stack. It's annoying. You can't do that. We've got a lot of crap on us right now, but a lot of it is steel ingots, so I can just dump these in machines. And, uh, and get it sorted that way. Yeah, by my familiar carapace. You murder the things, you burn their bodies for fuel. Let's have a look at this. Maybe we should upgrade these belts. This isn't full, actually. That could mean it's running down. Like, that's the rate it's emptying. Now, let's take a look at this. This isn't built up, though. Hmm. There we go. It filled up there. Did it fill up completely? If it did, we can spare more. It di Okay, right. The truck is full. We can actually upgrade this. Let's try it, then. Because now I remember that we can upgrade that one copper deposit in so many different ways it's reasonable to to be like okay let's boost this thing so we're now gonna oh oh <laughs> we dumped the plates because i can't put them back in my inventory oh dear it's just gonna do those on every single section isn't it until i have inventory space in fact what i'll do is i'll put back the coal I have, so I've actually got a spare stack now. I can pick up some of the stuff. Can I pick up all of it, though? Yes, I can. Okay, we're good. Uh, grab all. Grab all. And then, uh, got a... Convey belt mark 2. Here. And here. I didn't realize that just goes straight up through the ground. Whoops. And here. And then we've got to upgrade these. And that one. And now I'm here and I don't want to be. Landing pad. Boop. And this one here. And this one here. And this one here. And then at that point it, it can just go to level ones and that's fine. So yeah, we did upgrade it and none of this is running right now anyway because it's all built up because uh, it's not running properly yet. But yes, we need our copper. That was what we were working on and then we had to go get a little more supplies. So... Uh, where is it? Organization? Storage container. Doop. Doop. That might be enough. 
No armor yet. Don't know when we get armor. Presumably it comes along at some point, but none of the researches that I've seen have allowed me to get it yet. Yep, this works out pretty nicely. Kind of stick a foundation here. Yep. Nice. Might put a little ramp up later, but that will work for now. Uh, oh, need a ramp here, actually. Hold on, let's, let's just raise the whole thing by a smidge. That's now a bit too much, but it's it's okay. It works. Uh, where's the copper? Probably don't need to do this, but it'll save me like two seconds. Here it is. Right, let's smash this up. That's the wrong button. Well, I've hit that with a piece of rebar now. That's cool. Anyway. Uh, what is it? Oh, I can't pick it up. That's why the button, all the buttons are working. Can I go dump the steel, maybe? I don't know if I can. Can I jump down this without taking damage? No. Sorry, I damaged the suit. I'm presuming that's what the uh, the alarm actually means. Is you broke our property. What are you doing? Now we can put that in there. and can we put stuff in here? Yes, we can. Gives us a little bit of room to breathe. Now we can actually pick up the copper. Do I have a portable miner? No. Good point. Well made. Oliver Chapman. I will go make a little equipment workshop so I can quickly make the portable miner. Everything's just shut down now. It's all, it's all frozen. The factory is silent. The true work has not yet begun. This thing's still poodling away, of course, because it's got a giant storage to fill. In fact, I've just realized... I bet there's a ton of coal filling those storages. Oh no. Oh, that's a problem. Can I limit those? I want to go limit those. Don't want that much coal being dumped in here. Let's go see this. Oh. Oh no. I can't keep up with the belts because they're so fast. There. Configure. Can I limit it? There's no button for limiting. It's just going to keep filling with coal. Oh no. Welp. That's gonna happen now. Okay, so, uh, equipment workshop. Put it right next to this. And make a portable miner. Sorted. And off we go. Uh, mm, eh, there we go. <laughs> Getting past all these belts is going to become a bit of a rigmarole. I've got to apply the same principles as I am in Factory Town. I've got to be like, okay, all belts go overhead, people walk underneath. I've got to establish that system. Instead of just being like, I climb over, round, up, oh, oh dear. Right, here we are. Just got to, ah, mm, bounce up these bits, it's annoying. Oh hey, floating rocks, neat. And, nope, oh, nope, wrong button. And smash, smash, smash. By the way, someone has worked out that this sound is exactly in time with uh, We Will Rock You. Exactly. And so you can... And so that they just, like, played it and, and kept restarting until they synced it right. And I love it. Um, okay. We can't make a, a minor Mark II. Well, we could, we could maybe, but we'll just make a Mark I. I mean, what speed does this work at? It's normal, so it's going to make 60 per minute anyway, which is probably all we need. Probably far more than we need, in fact. So there we go. Oh, we're going to get power over here. Oh, no. Uh, power pole. Then run one down to... Oh, jeez. Run one down to the ground over, like... Hang on, I've got to get to the side here. i have to get to, like, there. Now, we want more foundation. Oh, we'll just put it on top of the Blumen storage tower. Hey there. Ray swinging by. Please reload. Oh, that's a point. I should probably do that. There we go. Everything's fine. Uh -huh. Yep, conveyor belt. Run this down to... Like to here, we'll go. Uh, gotta make sure to actually have the power pole going to that. Made a weird zappy noise there. That was a bit of a worry. Uh, I'm just gonna, 
Gonna parkour my way down here, it's safer. <laughs> oh, there's the belt, so I can grab that, bring it to like here first. Maybe. Just step it down nice and steady. Is there a cave here? Nope. I, I need to get scanning from mycelia so that I can then just basically scan for caves. We'll work out where we fit that construction thing into the grand scheme of things. We've got to work out the power as well. So we got a power pole there. We're going to put another one here between these two. But then also, we kind of need more, because we're stretching the purples we have to their limits. Let's build another one here. And we'll have this one connect to that, and then that will connect to this one, and then to this, which will then connect to these two. So then this has a spare slot, this has a spare slot, and we've got some more leeway with where we can send stuff. And then we'll have a pole, like... I mean, maybe we could just connect directly, actually, with the distance we've got. Connect. Yeah, it works. Wait, no, I can't afford it. Damn it. Back we go. Uh, the, there is no Twitch link, Noah, because this... I don't stream on Twitch, I stream on YouTube. As evidenced by this YouTube stream you are watching. I have a Twitch, but I don't use it, so I don't bother linking it, because I don't do anything with it. I have various other things. I have a Twitter and a Patreon and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, now there is a ramp that I could run up with the, with the copper to get up there, but the tower is still nice, you know. Uh, so, connect. Power line. There. That means this is running, so we're now making the, uh, the encased industrial beams. And then here we gotta get the, uh, the other thing going. The stators, is it? Yeah, stators. Uh, we need 60 per minute of wire. Actually, oh, that's easy to do. That's a piece of cake. That's less than one deposit's worth. So... We just gotta work out where to fit the thing that doesn't get in the way of everything we're doing. I guess we stick a constructor like here. That's the wrong button, I've just scanned for copper again. Like, just have this. I don't know, I kinda don't wanna do that. We'll have it kind of off-site, and then we'll bring it in. Um, I want to extend this out by one more, and that's the furthest this will go. And then we'll have a constructor, like, here. So... Plonk. Connect the belt, that should be fine. You want to be making wire. Let's give you that power line. Ah, uh, we'll make another power line, maybe? It will make another power line. It's good to just have redundancy. That can connect to... You. And it's there, of course. Clear some of these leaves. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Didn't help that much. There's a tree here. I'm allowed to just clip through it, though, so it's fine. Uh, what I want is to kind of go through here and, and round, but that's actually a challenge. I might just swing all the way over this way. Just out front of the building. Get to here, do a turn. Go this way, and right about here we want to raise up. So, go up to two. Uh, wait, no, not quite there. Uh, cancel. Nope. Ah, wrong button. I do like a... 90, a 45 degree there, and then we'll have a... Two height here. Bring this round to here, send it over there, and then send it finally from there to there, and it kind of works. I don't like the clipping. I wish that I could fix that, so I'm going to try. Um, see if we can do, like, another two right here. 
Wait, no, not there. Uh, as far back as we reasonably can. Like that. Are we allowed to connect this? Nope. What if I step it back a bit? What if I have it back here? That works. Does a bit of a shimmy, it's fine. And now connects up without looking weird, and that's an important thing. Now, is this running? Is it providing the uh, the wire? It, I might not set it up. Oh, wait, no, I'm missing a step here. I've got to smelt it first. Derp. Break this. I was like, hold on, something's not right here. This isn't how things work. This isn't how factories do things. So we'll just line up the smelter with it, connect that, then connect the belts to the smelter, and I'm just going to let that clipping happen because I don't care quite so much about clipping through terrain as I care about clipping through other things I built. Oh, and then uh, power to there. Now we're making wires. And this only takes 30 per minute and produces 30 per minute, but this takes 15 and produces... Oh, only 45! This isn't actually making it quick enough. Huh. That's annoying, actually. Because that means that is going to be the limiting factor here. I just know, oh, this takes 18 per minute of rods, and we're only making 15 per minute. So I think maybe the ratios actually work out roughly correct. It's not quite perfect, but it's close enough. Yeah, everyone had spotted it in the chat, but I was too busy playing the game. The chat's moving too quick, and the, the game's too engrossing for me to be able to keep track of what's happening in chat. So I keep missing stuff entirely. But now it's working. Now we have the wire. And the nice little batches of three moving along. It's going to take them a minute to get around, but when they do, we will have stator production. Then what we need to do is consolidate everything into one location. Which is, will be interesting. So we got the encased industrial beams. I'm going to go check the, the crafting recipes and make sure I've got everything uh, right. That I understand what's going on. So how's this going right now? Full speed? No. Yeah, the consumption isn't high enough, I think, with these. We're consuming 30 here and 15 here. So we could have another uh, pipe assembler. And then it would be consuming the 60 per, per minute. And I guess we should... Hmm. I'll fix it later. Can I merge two belts with different stuff on them? I believe you can do that, but I don't want to because that seems like a recipe for disaster. I know what that does in Factorio generally, and I'm pretty sure it's a similar kind of thing in Satisfactory. Slightly less chance of it, though, because this game is a lot more about setting up production and it working forever. Whereas in Factorio, you occasionally have production shut down because something has run out somewhere. In Satisfactory, the supplies never run out. So you can have two belts knit together, and theoretically the ratio of items on that belt will always stay the same. But if it's wrong at all, then it will mess things up down the line. I know overclocking is a thing, so I can do something about it. So, yeah, uh, we just need to combine the stators and the rotors to make the motors. <laughs> and the fancy thing is the heavy modular frame. In which case, uh, screws we can get. In case of beams we can get. Steel pipe we'll have to bring in. A modular frame we're going to have to sort out. What's modular frame again? We can do that. It's going to be a bit of a shambles, maybe. But as long as I can bodge it together enough to work, I'm going to be happy. And now I'm going to use a new thing that I haven't used before. Because what we need to do at this point, I'd say, is bring all this stuff back to our main factory and merge it in with everything else. Oh, that is a cool shot of Ray there. Look at that. It's just a fantastic visual addition to the game. It doesn't need to be there. It doesn't, like, have any, like, gameplay relevance. But it just contributes brilliantly to the feel of the game and the look of it. There's just these giant creatures milling about doing their thing that are completely above and beyond you at least for now I mean I could build a tower up there I mean I have with the space elevator okay so what I want to do is get the outputs of these machines and I want to run them into a thing so we're gonna build this thing uh, and it is a stackable conveyor pole we're gonna work this out 
So this is new to me. I'm gonna. It's gonna take a minute to get a hang of. Yeah, build it out here, and then. Okay, there we go. So the stack works like that. Am I supposed to build this on top of a conveyor pole? Maybe, but it's not allowing me like that. If I build one free. Okay, I can theoretically build one over it by just doing that, but it's unnecessary. And yeah, it doesn't seem to lock to it, which would be a nice thing. Is, is this a ladder? Oh my god, it's a ladder! Forget storage stacks, I can just stack these forever to climb up. Oh no. Oh, this is just... This is brilliant. With a little platform on top I can stand on. Oh no. I'm gonna get myself killed with these. At least on top of the storages there's a lot of room to uh, to walk about. With these I'm just gonna fall off immediately. Can I... Can I... I mean this is giving me free stuff so I'm gonna keep pressing the button. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, so... That's the thing. Okay, so that, that works as a structure anyway. Uh, so, make a belt. It can be a slow belt. It does not need to be a fast belt by any stretch of the imagination. I run them both up to there, and we're going to have two belts running above each other, and just this nice little structure making its way towards the factory. So, this can now be bound to eight, because we're going to use this often probably now. And yeah, just every now and then, plonk, plonk. And, uh,. And that's how we'll run the belts along from now on. And it could just be slow belts because we're not making these at particularly high rates. Uh, uh, come on, there we go. Sounds like it's about time for a space ladder. I've already tried out a space ladder. And I tried to get to the top of the uh, space elevator and I recorded it in case it made good video stuff, but unfortunately I couldn't get to the top and it turns out you can if you build the space elevator at a lower elevation. Because then the actual platform ends up being lower than the build limit of the map, the, the height limit of the map. But unfortunately because mine's built on a relatively high altitude section of the map, I can't actually get to the top of the thing, which is sad. A little bit fillier to build these, but... It works. And yeah, then there's the thing of trying to get them up to, uh... Up to there. Because I'd kind of like to just skip... I mean, it does. it's not that much longer of a route to go round, but... Oh, hey there. Oh. Um... You're, uh, you're having a bit of a... Bit of an issue there. Oh, actually, I have totally blocked the route. Yeah, I, I, I misjudged where the markers were. Oh, this is going to fill my inventory with junk. Do I have the room? Not really. Oh, well. Just going to let you go. Let's also get rid of the equipment workshop and put it elsewhere. Uh, which thing is it in? It's in production. Oh, wait, no, that's the, that's the graphic. Did I just... Did I just hear? Do you guys hear that? Am I just going mad? I thought I heard Doug. You around here, Doug? I could just be going insane, but I swear I heard the tell the telltale sound of his fart sneeze. But maybe I'm just going mad. Like, did you guys hear anything, or was it just me? It might have just been me. I might have misheard somebody else, but I thought I heard the fart. I thought I heard uh, Doug fart, and I was like, he's here! He lives! But no. He's not here. I can only dream. Um, and then we can just build the equipment workshop more nestled in here, and then it won't be in the way. Like, here's one marker, there's the next, and yeah... It's not going to block his route any, any more than anything else already has. 
Mix of satisfactory and Dark Souls commentary is very hard to follow. I can imagine. Yeah, it does repath after a short while. Um, does it remember the new path? No, I think it just uses the markers it had before, so if I'd left the stuff there, it would have crashed into it every single time. Right, I want to test something that I've just thought of. Okay. Belt from here. Can it connect upwards? Not like that, game. Not directly up, you derp. Uh, it doesn't seem to allow it. I was hoping that it would like work out a way to loop round like it does with the uh, with the construction construction things, but no, it's oh wait, that's to itself. Hold on, that's to itself. Build it. Oh, I won't let me build it. The floor is too steep, but it's showing us blue, and it's not a floor too steep issue. It's it's trying to Mobius strip into itself. That was weird. Yeah, there we go. That's not right. But it was showing it like in a more proper way. There, it's like, I don't know where it goes. I can't see where it goes. But it says it can be done if you angle it just right. That's very strange. But yeah, you can't make this loop upwards. Two of them, on the other hand, might be a thing. So let's try that next. Space them a little bit and then... Okay. And then... Oh, nope. Oh, I just downgraded that belt over there. God damn it. Hold on. Logistics, conveyor belt mark 2. Upgrade, please. Oh, dear. Okay. Build. Oh, it did... Mm. Yeah, no, that's... That... <laughs> doesn't work at all. Um... I have to work on that. I mean, spacing it out more might be all I need to do. Like if I build one here. How about now? Build... Up. Up another. It go up one. That's something. Uh, but it needs to go... Oh no, that works actually, because then we step it up like that, and then we have another one in the middle stepping- Oh, we could totally do this! This works! Okay, I'm gonna make this structure over here. Uh... I'm kind of- This cliff face is just getting... buried under ridiculous amounts of random crap, but I need a way of getting up there now. I need a, a new little thing. Around about here will work, I guess? If we can feed them in? Feeding them in is the issue. There's a lot going on here. Maybe further over this way makes more sense. There's a lot more room here. Oh, in fact, there's an overhang. That's perfect. Like, if I... No, but the other belts are going to get in the way. Oh, over here might be good. This is kind of a bit more open. I've got some room to maneuver here, and there shouldn't be anything else in this area at any point, so let's try it. Let's try... Stack of them here. And then... Can we line it up? Uh, it doesn't let us. There's no way to do that. Unless I literally just eyeball it. So we'll eyeball it. Okay, let's do some of the initial belt loops to make sure... Oh, it's encroaching the miner, isn't it? Damn it, I've got to move the whole thing back a bit. Which, oh, oh, I should absolutely do. Look at the clearance I have here. That's ridiculous. Okay. Moving it back. And also, I need to climb up here so I can deconstruct the other stuff we have around here more easily. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Unlimited derp, huh? What? Oh, no, that's the miner. Don't do that. Easy, easy. Ah, there we go. Landed. And now I can just... Again, it's doing this where it's like, yes, I've deleted it. Here's the materials. And it doesn't delete it. It's doing... I'm, I'm deleting every single one of them twice. 
or indeed three times. I wonder if this is generating materials. I'm not going to complain if it is. <laughs> Build a jump pad. I, yeah, I, I should do that actually to get up the cliff. If I can, the jump pad might not be enough. Actually, can you overclock jump pads? Yeah, you're right. I might not need to move this particular one. Let's see if this connects. Yep, this works. I know I really wish I could, like, blueprint somehow, but it's not a thing. I need a lookout tower for this, or indeed a miner that I can climb up the ladder off. There we go, that's some room. It's a little bit noisy around here. Wait, can it do, like, a figure eight if I want it to? I kind of want to do a figure eight, but I shouldn't do a figure eight. <laughs> Uh, uh, come on, you can do it. You can you can connect to the thing. I th yeah, I need a lookout tower to be able to see this properly. And then we do another one. I can't see the start of it. There. Nope, don't do a figure eight. Just go normally. Easy, e easy. Oh, there. This sure is fiddlier than just going round the side of the mountain, but it will look a lot cooler when it's done. And that's all that matters, of course. Come, come on. Oh, I've fallen off. Ow. Or indeed not ow, as it turns out. Uh, and then we need this to, like, loop round here. And then we need those belts over there to get over here. Oh, let's delete all this rubbish we've got going on. If I delete a middle one, what happens? Uh, it doesn't delete. Oh, there we go, it deleted. Now we have floating stackable poles. I don't know why deleting these is such a challenge for my thing. It's just not doing it. But I can't leave this monstrosity just sat out here. get up on top of it again. Let's go to the higher one. Start with the top. <laughs> there we go. And uh, this gives me a chance to re-chat. It's a slide. Calm it down just a smidge, Electro. Um, there's a there's this key. Uh, it's next to, to A. It's called Caps Lock. If you hit that, uh, you stop yelling. Just in case you didn't know. Oh, it's actually multiple overlapped conveyor poles because I spam I spammed the key when I built them. Right, so it's not giving me extra materials, it's actually just that there are multiple in one space, which has probably borked many things. That's interesting. I'm not shooting the Sky Whale. First of all, it's a Sky Manta Ray. Doesn't even look remotely like a whale. Also, Ray is my friend, and I'm not going to shoot him. Unless someone tells me that it does something cool in the game. Because I'll be honest, as much as I like Ray flying around, it will be really cool to see what it looks like when a giant Manta Ray in the sky comes crashing to the ground. <laughs> Okay, so we need our stackable stuff to be, like, here. And... Swing this round. And swing this round. They can go over the top of everything, and are they able to connect here? Oh, apparently I can just glitch this through everything. Can I put a belt through it, though? This is an important thing that the game is not telling me. We will have to find out, potentially, the hard way. Okay, so... You... Yep, it's encroaching. we got to swing in, I think. Actually, it might be encroaching on that. Hold on. Oh yeah, it says it's encroaching from that point. Uh, so we probably need to raise it then. 
Or swing it around this way a little bit. That could also work. Let's try that. Just put some stackable poles, like, in front of the, uh... Of the splitter. And then... You... To there. And you... To there. Then will it allow me to connect them over here? No, it's encroaching on the miner. Uh, we might not have to go very far, though, to get away from that. I mean, we could put it over here. We could just have it go on to this part. Or could we have it go this way? Oh, we could totally have it go this way. There's room here. Didn't think to check. All right. Uh, shimmy. Go on this side, and then one of you will connect. Oh, damn it. Okay, gotta move this around a bit. Like, if I just tell it you to connect these two, will you work out a way of doing it? Let's make it be the top one, and then this guy can come down here, and then you connect to there. I'm encroaching on the miner, presumably. Just build it backwards and try and go like there, and then do this. Nope, that's encroaching. Just go right round and then swing back in. Here. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> well, if I accidentally shoot one more of those, then... Uh, I won't have an extra stack of the stuff anymore, which will be nice. There we go, we connected it. That's all of these working. The spiral begins. Right, I gotta watchtower this. Where can I even build one? Over here, I guess. Uh, cute organization. Look at tower. Let's have a moment. It's working itself out. There. That's what I want. And up we go to continue with the spiral of awesomeness. Oh, we need to do more over there. Okay, I will stack them one at a time like a normal person, instead of just excitedly spamming the button. Oh, oh, uh, come on. There. Oh, it's just gonna be impossible. That's too high up. We'll, we'll have to go up onto the actual cliff for that part. Don't figure eight, please. roof in the way. Okay, and then we'll work on the other one for a bit. Uh, and we'll try and do that one, but I can't really see where it's trying to connect. No, it's not working. Okay, let's get actually up onto the cliff. I wonder, could I just like build a ramp here? I think I'm going to try and build a ramp because I'm close to being able to just jump up onto there. Um, or maybe some stairs actually. Oh, I can make a walkway ramp. I love walkway ramps. They look cool. However, not allowed to build one. Okay, we'll make uh, a foundation. Just like the one up here. Uh, hopefully that is able to be walked on properly. And then we'll make walkway ramp. I'm actually going to put that on my hotbar because it's one of my favourites. And then, uh, oh, I saw it. I saw it for a second. Uh, what are you trying to do? No, don't. I want th that side. This, this side. Ah! If I move a bit. There we go. Now it's allowing it. Now don't rotate it again. There we go. Keep it consistent. And then let's get a corner piece. Turn up. Oh. Uh, there, and then again, just have it straight up double back, and then continue down, and then we'll have it double back again, and then down just a smidge more, and I'm out of plates again, and to get plates, I need to get up there. 
So. Leap! Yes! Whoo, that was close. I mean, I wouldn't have died, but it would have hurt and I would have had to climb back up and it would have been embarrassing. But I am the best at parkour. I am much better at parkour than I am at ladders. Okay, gotta go get some more iron plates. God, we use a lot of them when we're just constructing lots of basic stuff. I mean, that makes sense, but... I should have yelled parkour. Either way, it worked. Uh, what am I doing? I need to... Oh, let's see if there's more research to do now. Uh, I mean, we're still not at the point where we can do that, but we can carry on doing that. We never researched the color gun. I should have done that. Why didn't I do that? Would have been easy to do at any point. All right, plates. There's tons of them. Off you go. I guess this got done at some point as well, though I don't remember hearing the message. We got this new equipment and new parts. This type has strong healing properties. R&D has created a blueprint you can access in Hub Tier 3. Okay. Uh, where did I put fabric? There it is. Last thing to research on our list right now. Ten fabric, seven and a half minutes, piece of cake. Put this back. And yeah, now we can make a healing thing, apparently. Let's go look at this. Um, I'm not seeing it in here. But I could be blind. Isn't there a healing thing you can make? Oh, do you make it here? Where's my, where you make the color cartridge and color gun? Um, oh, is it a research I have to do first? Let's see. Oh, tier 3. Aha! Medical inhaler! I knew there was a thing. So we can do that next. Uh, in, in a minute and 20. And then we can make some fancier healing items. I believe what it is is you mix together a bunch of berries and nuts and stuff, and it makes something that can fully heal you every time you use it. Electro Halo, I, I'm i gonna just time out you for a minute to make sure you're aware that you're being a bit much. You can come back in, I think, ten. Uh, five minutes, actually. Only five minutes. Um, and less of the caps and spamming at that point, please. Thirty seconds ago, I'm just gonna hang around. I guess I can gather some more of the materials I need. Uh, let's sort this. In fact, I've got a lot of junk again to get rid of. Uh, we got some wood and some leaves, copper ore. What did I even get that? Oh yeah, I made a copper mine. Oh, sounds like the thing's coming back. Very good. It's gonna have tons of stacks of that stuff because we keep needing more of it. Stock up on that a smidge. And a little bit more concrete, because there's some things we're making that are using it right now. I might make some more cable. But we should be able to do this now. Oh, there we go. There's all our wires. Uh, more of those. And oh, some of our reinforced plates. We're starting to run out of those just a little bit. Down to less than two stacks. Right, medical inhaler. Do we make it here or elsewhere? Uh, elsewhere. Over here. Here we go. What does it need? Oh, quite a few things. Mycelia, bacon agaric, pale berry, barrel nuts. We can put all that together. We have that. Uh, am I blind? Yep, there we go. There's some of the bacon agaric. And then there's the mycelia. Okay, we have a little bit to work with. We can probably make one or maybe two. Two. So these, I believe, fully heal me. So a useful thing to have as a healing item. On top of having the fruit and stuff, you shouldn't get rid of those because it would be wasteful to use that on a small amount of damage when you could just eat a berry. So put the mycelia back that we've got. Don't need to keep hold of that. 
And uh, that's us pretty good. Oh, we need to get some copper wire again. We don't have any now. And let's just sit here and craft some of this stuff for a minute. I can check the uh, the chat. Can you see the rebar after you've shot it? Yes, you can. It does embed in things and hang around for a few seconds at least. Um, I researched Mark II belts ages ago, Soldier Girl. Mark III's will come along soon, but I can't yet. And yes, the game is already multiplayer. It's a little bit ropey at this stage, but you may be seeing some of that on my channel very soon. How are we looking? We've got more than a stack of the stuff now. Let's see if I can use up exactly one stack of copper wire and not mess it up. It's the moment of truth. Damn it! No, I used one too many. It's fine. I'll live. Okay, let's go. Back to work. Yeah, you're right, the green key. I, I do need to do that. It's just that up till now, I've been a, a smaller channel that people don't really care about in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and then Satisfactory and Factory Town happened at the same time, and right now I have 463 viewers, which I've never had. So, that's that's what's happening right now. <laughs> and when you get to those sorts of levels, you have to start changing things. And worrying more about that sort of thing. Right, let's continue this down. Uh, that's basically us level, so we just need a corner and a straight, I think, at that point. Turn and uh, oh, buttons and a straight, which I can't build. Oh, because it encroaches. Damn it! All right, we're just gonna have to make a bit of a leap every time we go between these. It works though, I suppose. Right, let's get back to work on our uh, spiral tower of belts. This time from up here. I got the heights about right for where it finishes. Okay, here we go. Uh, that might be enough. We might stop it there, actually. And then... You, up to here, and up to... Uh, 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 there. And then at this point, you can just jump across the both of them, actually. I'm pretty sure. Let's test it. Just make sure it actually does do that. Uh, can you make this height change? Yes, you can, which presumably means that you can do the same. Excellent. Let's get rid of the excess stackables we left here. And that, my friends, is a belt spiral. There's a few different ways to do it, but, um, but that's the basic idea of it, is you put just two stacks of things you can connect belts to and then you just do two in a loop and you can usually loop two of them if you make it larger then you could maybe start to loop three or four if you make it like a triangle or a square that sort of thing but that's how they work and the stuff feeds in at the, at the bottom it comes out the top and it all works it means it'll take three million years for changes at the production end to get to the consumption end but it's generally a good way to scale a, a high thing so it's fine we got to get this over to vaguely near the space elevator now. So let's just uh, keep the belts running. I think I'll build a little mini complex on the other side of the space elevator where we just put together everything we've learned, essentially. This is going to get in the way of future power expansion, isn't it? There we go. I think they changed how this worked as well from the demonstration video. I seem to remember that in the dem original demonstration video they did, you literally just like built something on top of the stackable pole or the stackable pole just, or the, like of the, the standard pole. Like you just place this and then you did something to it that added to it. And it didn't look like this, I don't think. They changed it. Okay, I might be pushing it a bit here in terms of how far it's going. Uh, yes, I am. Belt's too long. Okay, bring it in a bit. 
here instead. There we go. Electro Halo, I like the part where you said my caps lock is off and then put in brackets for now in caps. That was, um... Hmm. Now, I don't know how the timeout feature on YouTube works more, like, specifically. I don't know if giving more timeouts means that they will be longer. But I wouldn't be surprised if that's the system. Just, uh, just pointing that out. Okay, this is just slightly too far away. Damn it. Plonk. Plonk. You know, having this cut across my power is maybe a bad idea, because I probably want to expand this later. But I'm doing it. You can't stop me. It'll only be a problem for distant future Bentham, who isn't here right now. It'll last for the stream, and then I plan on starting a new series anyway, so... Yeah, and then I'll use what I've learned to do better. Alright, keep it going, and I want to bring it round, round sort of this way. Right, the sort of thing we can do is start going crazy with the stackable stuff. Because now that I have these, I can just use this for anything. What I'm thinking is I just get, like, stackable pole. Uh, uh, mm. Jumps about all over the shop here, and then we just stack, like, five. So I can think of five different things that we can stack on these. And then... Oh, and let me check, what do we need for the next tiers? That's important. Um, motors? And only the modular frames, we don't need the fancier ones. So the motors are the key thing here. They're the, the more challenging thing to create. Yeah, I want to make a stackable pole. Right about here. Let's raise it up a bit. And then I want to bring our... Damn it, I can't get around there, it's really annoying. And they can't get up here either, unless I use this weird glitch that's just happened to build... Stackable poles like ladders in the side of this building. Perfect. Oh dear. Right, I want to bring this belt back around. I don't think we can go this way because it says it's encroaching on the clearance of the... Actually, we could just go this way. We can just bring it along here and then swing it around the side. Uh, let's make a... Raised pole here. Just too high. Swing this around this way. Encro oh, it's encroaching on the plumbing space elevator. Floor is too steep. Conveyor belt has an invalid shape. It is literally a straight line. How is that an invalid shape? Now it's fine. I stupid space elevator. It's bounding boxes so much larger than its actual form. It's so annoying. So you constantly think you're clear of it, and then it's like, nope, encroaching. Troll lol. All right, I just wanted to bring this round to here, and then run it into this if it allow me to. Yes, nice. Uh, then what I want to do is get this. Oh, so I want to actually get rid of this now. I don't want it anymore. This is just going to go along the ground right to the corner because I'm fed up of this blummin' space elevator telling me off. Right on the corner. And then you, I want you to connect up to there. Too long. Okay. Move along for a little bit first. And then jump up here. I don't care about blocking off the console because as we've learned the console doesn't do anything. You can literally just walk up to any part of the space elevator and press the buttons. So that is the modular frames and the rotors coming in. Next up we want to get the uh, the stators and the steel stuff things, words. So let's have this in the middle here. That might be enough to bridge the gap. Oh, there. And there. 
Yes, vertical main bus mini betrayal. That's the idea. Because at a certain point along the line, I'm like, okay, so... In various ways, Satisfactory is similar to Factorio, so what can I learn from Factorio to apply to Satisfactory? And I went, well, the main bus is the clear thing about factory building that works in, in that, and presumably is applicable to Satisfactory. I'm like, well, how would you make a main bus in Satisfactory? Well, you'd make it stack. So this is our main bus. Which is, is neat. Uh, now, there are some things we need. We need iron rods, definitely. And there might be other stuff too, so I'm going to go back and check the recipe list. I feel like we need cable for something. Like, we know we're good for motors, because they're simple. Um, heavy modular frames... Well, we don't need to make them yet, but when we do... Oh, it's screws we need. Oh, and steel pipe? Oh, no! Oh, God, I've got to bring that all the way in from over there! Oh, I should have realized that sooner. That's going to be painful. On oh, the modular frames themselves... Right, yeah, they're the things that require the iron rods. Okay. So we need iron rods coming into the thing anyway, because we're going to be making those further down the line. So we'll get them hooked up to our main bus. So now we do want to have the uh, the stackable things here. So we can just build it as a housing thing over the top of this and then follow the same path as we've done with... Uh... Apparently if you hold control... Nope. People say if you hold control you can rotate things not 90 degrees on a, a foundation. But they are wrong. Because I just tried it. Oh, I've got to clip through that if I do this. Oops. There we go, run along to there where it no longer clips, and then bring one right to here. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can build it. You can't- oh no, you literally can't stack them directly above the frames because you have to mouse over the frames. There we go. If you go on the edge of it, you can make it work. It's a bit of a mess. Okay, we gotta bring- Can I just- There we go. Ladder over the top. The way you're doing it. I like my new ladder building, it's nice. There we go, you can see them being made in their batches of six now and being used at full pelt. Uh, so we need some iron rods. Where do they all go right now? There's a supply that, yeah, comes in down here. Is it enough? Presumably. So I'm gonna split off it. Like, nice and high up, because we'll need it to get over these bloomin' assemblers. So like there. And then split off the side and work out where on earth we could take this thing. I guess if we just swing right round- oh no, we can't go right right round there. Not a thing. Am I allowed to build a belt in the middle here? Like, is it a thing? I'm not confident, but it's worth a check. Nope, you're not allowed to hit encroaches. Okay, so we can't go through the middle of these. We've got to go over them, and they're quite tall. You know what? There's a better way of doing this. I'm going to punch a hole in one of these walls. <laughs> this one. There's a hole here now. Um, delete what I made here. And you, and even you for now. Which thankfully restores the belt as it was, though it removed everything here for some reason, or... Was it already removed? I don't even know. Make me a wall. In fact, I think it needs to be back by one looking at the positioning of things. So. Uh, walls. Conveyor wall. Like so. Splitter. As lined up with that as I can, because that's important. Uh, that seems like it's too close to actually work. Uh, but that's because I built it too far back. we got to reposition. Well, I'm going to work from here, because then I can look at what the actual... Yeah, it removes all the stuff beyond the splitter. That's weird and kind of pointless. Invalid aim location. Okay, I'm not allowed to build through a hole in a wall, apparently. I've got to 
what are those belt what did you see that there's some weird stack stuff going on with the iron rods and they're flipping back on themselves deleting the splitter has created a a section of reversed belt and that works apparently because I guess it defies the standard rules of the game Right, is this close enough to connect properly? Build. No, not that side. No. Not. No! <laughs> Stop trying to do a swirl! There we go, okay. Come on, build it. Do the thing. Oh, it's not at all working. I was hoping I could just keep it really simple like that. Right, we can we can mess with this. If we just uh, delete this, have the side one go in. It doesn't work because it's too steep, but it wasn't too steep before. This would better still connect. Yes. Well, that's, it's, it's moving. Did you see that? The slope on it changed as I was watching. Slightly scary. Okay, we'll swing this round and send it through a hole in the wall there then. Fine. It's trying to make it elegant, and the game's having none of it. That's what I wanted. Now I can't get out, because there's... unless I can... no, I can't go through there. Uh, gotta get up into the walkways. I'm gonna just parkour my way up there. Up. Oh. Nice. The low gravity of this planet is help from, helpful from uh, time to time. Okay, this comes out here and immediately encounters various bits of walkway and crap in the way. So bring it down here, maybe? Yeah, that does work. But I actually want to raise it up again immediately, so... Let's make some uh, conveyor poles. Just one notch up will do. No, not that side. That side. And then you connect up to there. That's all we want. That bit can go. And you... Over to... Uh, over to here. Continue to here, and then continue to there. Yep, it works. We got it. We've added it to the main bus. My partner at work just turned to me and asked if I've ever heard of this game. He's thinking of getting called Factorio. I've had that happen to me from time to time. I've had people be like, hey, have you heard of this game about factories? And I'm like, mate, mate, <laughs> it's my thing. What about wall belts? Why do people keep talking about wall belts? Every every episode recently, everyone's been like, why didn't you build a wall belt for that? And I'm like, because I didn't want to. Stop telling me to make wall belts. Okay, we got to extend this foundation out now. we got a new section of factory here. Uh, though immediately we come across the issue that I knew I was going to encounter of there's a big old hill. Kind of a massive hill. So we got to stack this up a bit. But we could do we could do all the stuff on this side actually. Yeah, let's just extend it this way. That probably makes more sense. Though immediately this encounters the same issue. God damn it! All right, bring it up just a smidge. How far can we go with that? That's much better. We can work with that. It then hits the hill again, but it's fine. You can technically see the edges of these, so I'm putting them in for the look of it. Now I need a larger one there. So yeah, it's all a bit of a mess around here, but we can add some slopes in to make it a little bit neater. Foundations, ramp, we'll go with the... No, no, we want the shallow one, actually, I think. Yeah, we want the shallow one. There we go just along here and then maybe here too. It comes out as a bit of a mess, I'll be honest. We'll leave that for now. This is the bit we're going to have our machines. So there's our bus. First order of business, rotors, because that's easy. That is an assembler. And all this stuff is already there. Uh, and then at some point we're going to have a, some belts run across this way, I've just realised. 
It's gonna get a little bit, a little bit weird. I'm gonna leave a gap here for outputs later along uh, down the line. So there, is that enough space? That should be enough, right? Yeah, stackable poles can easily fit here. Fine. And there'll be two of them here because that's where the outputs leading into the space elevator will be going. They're gonna cross over this. I'm gonna think about how that's gonna work later. Uh, you are making motors. You need stators and rotors. And we're in a Dr. Zeus book again. Right, so let us take the stackable poles. We can have them running like this anyway because there's already they're already above ground level. And then we just need to run each of these poles across. Though what we can do is skip it for the ones that we currently don't have any other use for. Like these two probably are never going anywhere else but making motors. So I'm just going to run these both in here and then I guess bring these down. We'll keep them level for the moment actually. So there we go. So that's bringing off from the main bus going into this machine. However, it makes uh, 5 per minute, uses 10 per minute of stators and rotors. Is that about right? That seems like it's pretty decent. Like, 5 per minute is a bit slow, but it will get there. <laughs> we'll have some production, and that's the key thing. I want to try and get us at unlocking the next set of tiers so we can at least see what they contain, if nothing else. So, power line. Oh, fantastic, we can connect to that thing. Uh, or not. Ah, oh, we're clipping through... Blummin' belts, and that counts. Still? Still clipping? Come on, it's like barely. I'm just gonna keep going till this doesn't let me build it anymore. Literally, I can build this, but I can't build this. I know it says I can't do it here either. It didn't say that a minute ago. God damn it. There. We can build it there. That's the wrong button. <laughs> In anger, I shoot at the power pole. How dare it do this to me. Reload. And now I've only got one stack of ammo on me, so it's worked. I've managed to accidentally shoot three things now with the rebar gun. <laughs> oh dear. Right, is this going? No power. Oh, I haven't actually connected it to the power itself. Doop. And uh, now it should be making the thing. Yes, it is. All right, bring this belt round to... I mean, just don't encroach. Don't complain. Don't be like, I'm going to go round as fast as possible to, like, clip with myself and then complain that you're encroaching on yourself. Can't afford and encroaching. Oh, jeez. Are we out of basic iron plates again? Yes. Also, hey there, Ray. Just uh, watch your wing there. Oh, oh, ouch. Oh. It's gonna sting. Because he's a stingray. That was damn terrible. <laughs> does the robot gonna have a safety or a trigger guard because it needs both of those things? Stat. It does not. This is video games. There's nothing to stop you from accidentally firing at any time because. Makes the game more exciting that way, I don't know. Get some more concrete as well because we've been using a lot of that. I need more inventory space. Can I get more? How's this looking? What have we got? Scanning for nuts. And Logistics Mark III, which we're getting to. We've got to make the motors. I mean, we're making the motors now. We just need to have enough of them to do the thing. Let's do this one other thing that we have as a, as a research, just so that we have it done. In fact, I already have this stuff on me, so piece of cake. Off you go. Back in a few minutes. Uh, and how's this going? Did we do this? Fabric's complete. And that's everything this that fabric is suitable for I can the creation research. of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in hub tier two. Parachutes? Forget this research. Oh my god, I can make a parachute. I'll never die to fall damage now. 
You have to activate it though, I'll never press the button in time. I will forget every time to press the button if it's button based. I know what I'm like. It let me do it immediately, so I did it. <laughs> and there we go, that's all research done except Logistics Mark III. So let's select that as a milestone and like queue up the stuff for it when we can. But I can make parachutes now, are they in here? There it is, it's just made of fabric and wire. That makes a lot of sense. How many can I make? Do they stack? Please tell me they stack. Oh, you make five of them at once, I love it. How many can they stack into? I'm gonna make 20. I now have 20 parachutes on me. That is 20 ladders. I can now try and uh, go down. Big improvement on before. Right, what's the button to activate? Do I put them in my... Is that what that's for? That's what that's for. It's not armor, it's the parachute. How do you activate it? It doesn't say what the button is. Do I just fall? Let's find out! <laughs> Here we go. That didn't do- that didn't work. <laughs> Guys, what's the button for it? <laughs> what do I need to press to activate it? It doesn't say what it does. Um, I'm afraid at this point you wouldn't be able to start watching uh, from the beginning at double speed and catch up with the stream before it ends because we are three hours in and we're stopping at four hours, I'm afraid. YouTube has a fit after that, so I kind of have to. I read that you consume all the parachutes you have equipped when you use them, only equip one. <laughs> and yes, I realized that I literally just flung myself off a building. And I knew there was a significant chance that I would have misunderstood something and I was going to fall to my, my injury, if not death. But I did it anyway. Can I... D mm, it's not letting me build the stuff, but also I can't build one going straight out because you're not allowed to build the conveyor things on the seams between the, the platforms, which is dumb. So we've got to swing out over here and then swing back in, I guess. There we go, there's our belt. Let's get this running over there immediately. So this is going to go down to the ground. So that it actually clears all of the stuff going on here. And then we'll just run it along here the whole time. Up to the edge here. And then we swing it round into there. And that is motors being delivered to the uh, space elevator. Next up, we got to work out the the reinforced gubbins, whatever it is. Oh, I can't, I can't remember what it's called. Let's make an assembler. Gonna put it right here. All right, and we need to make modular frames, iron rods, reinforced iron plates. We have both of those just straight up being provided. Uh, we need 24 per minute in terms of iron rods, which might be a bit of a struggle. Then again, we're not making 12 per minute of reinforced iron plates. I'm pretty sure, so it all works out in the end. Now these, I'm pretty sure, have multiple things we need them for, so what I'm gonna do... Well, we've got no factory left. But I think this main bus will continue, ultimately, so we need to prepare for that. I can't raise the level because I built an assembler here. I'm gonna do it from back here. Uh, yeah, let's do one, and then we'll do... Like, this doesn't give as much. at all. We'll extend it out like this and then maybe we'll add an extra layer. Okay, am I allowed to build that there, interestingly? Just not those two there. Okay. So I can build, like, this. And then we'll have to build another level going up again. If it'll let me do do that. Build on. There we go. This slope isn't getting any shallower, though, so this is, this problem's just going to continue. Okay, so we'll put a stackable pole, just stop right on the edge here. And I'm just going to have it be three things, because that's all I, we need, I think. And then connect this up, so rise up a bit. These ones will stay at exactly the same level, so that worked out nicely. 
There we go. And then what we need is a splitter along this belt. Oh, oh the tone of the belt is too sharp. Right, it's got to be on a straight section. That makes sense. Uh, you connect to there. And then this is the difficult bit. I'm concerned this won't work. One here. I need you to go down to this level. Yeah, no. Nope. Nope. Uh, right, we've got to do some swinging around and doubling back and make this all work. Let's try... I like how it lets me build on the edge there when there's not another one, but when there's two of them, it's like, no, it's encroaching. That's definitely a glitch. Okay, that's too shallow. I wonder, if I do the stackable thing, does it let me... No, it doesn't let me, like, lock them to the base conveyor poles. That's a silly thing. Why would you do that? Right, maximum height. Swing it round to there. Just lower up a little bit so it gives us some some progress. Then we got to swing around to here. Look, maybe we go around to this part. Oh. Come on, just do something normal, please. There we go. That's the sort of thing we want. And then swing around. No, come. Why can't you go on the edge this time? And you there, you can do that. Okay, and then swing around into there. Right, that is it. That is this working. Uh, we got to connect its power. So, we'll make a new power pole, actually. There. Overlapping stuff slightly, it's fine. Connect. And connect. And that is our modular frame production. And now it's running. There we go. It's going to make four of them per minute. Not amazing, but it's a thing. It is a figure. It is a number that is more than zero. And at the moment, that's better than what we've got, so... Let's do a raised conveyor pole here. Can this... Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, hang on. Deconstruct. Just connect to that. There we go, it does the thing. And then you connect to there. And then you've got to navigate through this nightmare of belts. So... Hmm... We can make this work. Just sneak it through around this area. Like, if we just let it go, it'll just do the thing, but I feel like I need it to visually not clip for my own sanity. So I'm thinking stackable poles here. Nice thing about the stackable poles, it's easier to quickly adjust the height if you've not got it right. There we go. That, the, the status clip straight through that. I'm going to try and raise it another, and that might work. Oh, let me see it. There. To there. Does that work? It looks like it works, and that's half the battle. Uh... Close enough. I'll... I can live with that. Okay, and then we'll have a little stackable here. There we go. This can slope down to it. And then it can swing around into that input. And that is all the stuff we need for tiers four. Uh, for tiers five and six of the space elevator. Oh my god, we need 500 of these. Oh, I didn't realize how many of those we needed for that. Oh my god. We're not doing that today. We can't make that today. Oh dear. Well, we have our system, like it's making the stuff. <laughs> Look at this. I love it. The spaghetti is real, and this is organized. There's a system to this. Oh, look, they've got the little names printed on it. I'll check the power. Oh, I'll see what it's like. Like, when we built the, the coal, we basically made ourselves expansion-proof for a long time. Oh, never mind. We are so close to hitting the capacity. Oh. Oh my god. Um, wait, who said that? Who d who told me to check the power? Who told... Who was it? Uh, multiple people have, but Bad Cosmonaut and whoever else said, go check the power... You are prophets. You are psychics. You're like, hey, you should check the power. And the moment I check it, the power dies. 
Yeah, switching it back on worked though. Still though, that means we need more coal powered stuff. Oh no. Oh dear. Yeah, you jinxed it. You're like, shouldn't that be too much on the power? And I'm like, nah, we're fine and the power fails. Yep. Yep, okay. So, uh, let's just make more of these then. Are they running full pelt then, I guess? Yeah, I suppose they are. Alright, let's get like another three of these maybe, just to start with. That'll surely serve us for a good long while into the future. Rotate. A lot. Look at the model though, I love how this looks. It's This is beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful buildings in the game. Okay, lined it up. Is that lined up? No. That's lined up. And I've just got to get it at the point where it locks, which is right about there. Oh, and then it unlocked. No, come back. There. And... Hmm. It's not allowing it here. Oh, can't afford. I need more of the frames. Um, well, yeah, we're, we're okay for the coal supply. It's the number of coal uh, generators. And you can overclock a generator, but it won't make it more efficient or anything. It will just make it run quicker. I would rather just build more machines. Why not? Then I can save on the slugs. Um, I want to steal the frames that are being made here, but I need to get up to them. I'll just go over here. It's making four of these per minute. And we need 500 of them, so that is 100 minutes, or, well, more than 100 minutes to make everything. And I don't think we're making uh, reinforced iron plates quick enough for that. This is slow. It's annoying that you can't pick stuff up if you're, like, at all too low. It's really finicky about that. Gonna run to the end of the belt and steal everything that's on there. And so the person who just said, when you kill Ray, you get special overclocking for your power generators. I already know that there is no way to overclock power generators. Don't try and trick me. Ray is my friend. Hundred twenty five minutes, hundred and fifty minutes, yeah, around there. So two hours, which unfortunately is longer than this stream is gonna go for. We've only got about forty minutes left before I've gotta go. I'm already way overdue for eating. Apparently food was made and and it's it's just sat going cold. Whoops. Uh yeah, let's just sit here and do this. We don't need a ton of them, just it's good to have some in stock for various things that need them. Yeah, people just want Ray to die, jeez. There we go, that should be decent for getting on with. Also, I always run out this way and then I'm like, wait, no, can't go this way. I can change that now. You just, uh... Doop, doop, doop. And you know what, another one. then, can I make, like, a platform here that lines up with this? Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I can just clip straight through. Apparently. Perfect. No, I'm not gonna kill Ray. Killing Ray is like uh, buying the Jojo Mart membership in Stardew Valley. You just don't do it unless you're a terrible person, or it's like your third playthrough. All right, back to this. Swing it around. Uh, easy there, and one more. It's nice that the power system's carried on running anyway at the moment. Oh. A shadow just appeared over me, and I'm like, whoa, Ray, huh? he doesn't come here, and then I'm like, oh yeah, giant, giant building I just ordered to be made. Right, I'm gonna have to mess about a smidge with these belts. Oh, I'm already splitting this three ways, I forgot. Crap. 
All right, we'll split this again here. Oh, there we go. Split it. I mean, we can split it up like over here. There we go. And then a splitter in front of this one. That is arranged incorrectly. That way. Hang on, line it up. There we go. Line it up. There. Does that... Oh, that might be... That's too much of a step up, isn't it? Oh, no, it works. Ah, I'll take it. Okay. Connect to you. Uh, connect to you. And then you connect to you. And that'll do it. And yeah, this is more than enough to supply these, because I think these use... Um, actually, let me think about this. If these use as much as, what every six seconds, takes two seconds to use one here, that is 30 a minute. So, this doesn't, this only needs to be 30 a minute, but that means that this needs to be 60 a minute or maybe slightly more. So yeah, we're, we're pushing things here, and this I should upgrade to level three belts. A level two belts, even. We're not up to level threes yet. Just this section here. And I believe this section here is already level two. Yes, it is. So, yeah, that means that everything should be enough. But, yeah, it's a slight worry. We're pushing the system towards its limits. But we'll have more power now when I actually connect these, which I have yet to do. Oh, power line. Can I... Oh, wait, no. Power pole. There, there it is. There. And one over oop, over there, roughly. Connect you to you. Connect you to you. And you. And you. And you. And that should be the power system sorted. Yep. Increase the capacity 50%. And everything's definitely going to be fine. For a good long while. Okay, now what to do to be doing? What is is the next thing? I mean, we can try and speed up production, but I don't think we're going to manage it. We've got less than 40 minutes left now. So we're not really going to be able to make the 500 of these we need. We're almost done on motors. We can research the uh the thing that requires motors, I guess then. Let's just start stealing these before they get to the, the space elevator. I don't think I can take them back out once they're in the space elevator. No, so if I want these, I've got to make sure to grab them uh, before they reach the end. Can I walk through this? Nope. That makes sense. There's very clearly a crossbar in the way. But it was worth checking. You never know. Sometimes you can clip through things. Steal. Steal. Okay, I need to go see how much we need in terms of rotors for this particular research. Okay. What was I here for? Oh, research. I was like, I always default to going to that console, and then I'm like, why am I here? What's happening? Huh? Got distracted by chat again. Oh, we need one more of those, and then we need another 30 motors. It's gonna take a minute to do. We need a ton of cables. That's not even enough. We need another 100 cables and another stack of wire. So that's like three stacks of wire to grab. And. There we go. Cable. I could just make the, the frames by hand, and that might allow me to do it in time. It feels wrong, but it would mean that we get to at least see what tier uh, 5 and 6 have to offer. So maybe it's worth it. And you know what, I, I look over at the chat and far too much of it is by one person. So let's do this again. Because it, it'll be nice to have some quiet for a moment. 
There we go. We got five minutes apiece. How long till I ultimate cable production? Uh, Jens Dinkle has, has it right. Uh, never, I think, at this point. We're in too deep. We've gone too far to automate cable production now. Alright, let's go steal more motors. It looks like the status of the limiting factor on the motors, which makes sense. I was expecting it to be like that. We need quite a few of these, so I might cut off the supply to the space elevator briefly. I think how far off is this? We need 10 more in there. I need 30 more for myself. Can I? I can't. It doesn't let me take it. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna delete this for a minute, and then it'll just build up on here. I'm not gonna bother with the storage. I'm just literally gonna stand here and hit E in a little bit and pick them all up. If I can press any of the correct buttons. I don't want leaves. Get rid of the leaves. There we go. I can hit E and press it and pick it up and all that stuff. And we need a single frame. Can I steal a frame? Yoink. And then I'm going to take a bunch of reinforced time plates. Though these have a storage chest, so I should really just go to that if I want more. We'll see how that's doing in terms of building up. In fact, we'll check how many we're making per minute, because that's important. Right, we have a ton of these in here. That's very good. Uh, we're making five per minute, and these are running full speed. So ten per minute of these are being made. So that that gives us a, a, a good position to upgrade production and get more of the frames going. We're not too bad. Uh, yes, this is a record for people watching a stream of mine. I feel kind of bad that I'm going to be ending it soon. It seems like a waste. We've never hit 500 before. I've hit, I've hit 300 a good few times, and the, the premiere of my first impressions of Satisfactory got to like 450. But we've never hit 500 on a stream, or a preview, uh, or a premiere even, or anything. So it's a bit crazy. Right, I want to make another assembler, and it's going to be a bit of a mess making this work. And it's basically just going to do the same thing again, because um, we can, as it turns out, we can do that. Let me see, like, what's the production, what's the consumption rate? Oh, this uses 12 per minute. So actually, this is using them as quickly as they're being made. It's just that we've built up a supply. So it's taking a while to get through it. I'm going to build another one anyway, because it will get through our supply quicker and will help. It might make a difference. This is a race now. So yeah, first thing to do is set up some automated, automated production of it. Second order of business is to go and then manually do it. Oh, I can't afford this, I need the frames. You need frames to make the machine that makes the frames. I see an issue with this system. Oh no, I fell off. No, I need that. Give me the frame, give me the frame. Got it. <laughs> I don't know how I got it, but I did. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Oh, I am straight up trapped. I can't, I can't move. Okay, well, that's just going to be a freestanding belt now. That was interesting. I hope there's no bits of terrain in the world that can do that, because I can't d delete that if that happens. Okay, right there. You make modular frames. We run these belts further along. Oops. Oh, and thank you very much, uh, RJC0234, for that £5 super chat. 500! Thank you very much for celebrating uh, with a super chat. Very much appreciated. Okay. We're just going to have this go up here. The main bus is just going to start climbing up the side of this hill. And... Oop, connect. And connect. And connect. We might have to do some more fancy belting to make this work. Okay, splitter. One back here. Oh, as soon as I can have it. And then one over here. This goes down to... Th yes, perfect, it works. This one goes down to here. And we just need power for the thing. This power pole's got plenty of spots on it. There we go. By plenty, I mean two. 
run this along here a, a little bit and then we'll work out a merger over here there we go run this into the side of the merger and we've just doubled our production at least for the short term and that should be working Yep, it's producing. So we're now making eight per minute, at least for the time being, but we're going to run out of reinforced diamond plates somewhere down the line. So that's shortened our time, but only to like 60 minutes uh, when we have less than 30. Here's the thing. Fun thing about YouTube, video, uh, YouTube streams. The moment they pass the four hour mark, um, the processing time before I can upload the stream goes from uh, like half an hour to as much as three days. <laughs> I think it was once three days when I did a six and a half hour stream. So I need to make sure that I cut this stream before the four hour mark or um, no one gets to watch this for potentially days after it ends, which is no good. So that's a fun game you have to play uh, with YouTube. Right, can we do this now? No, I didn't pick up the motors. I've just been just messing about over there. Right, let's go grab the motors. There's probably enough there now for us to complete that research, as soon as we've done that, we can then rehook up the motors to um, the space elevator, and then that'll just be complete, and then they'll build up anyway. No, oh, no, oh, mm, stuck on things, belts. Ah, right. Give me, give me all the stuff. Give me all the motors. Is it enough? Oh, it might not be. It's close. Oh, I think it is enough. We need thirty, and we've got exactly thirty. Perfect. I get, I could end and restart the stream, but that's weird. Also, I do need to eat at some point. It is, um, it's 9pm my time, and I haven't eaten much at all today, which is a problem. There we go, do the research. We have now unlocked all Milestone of the stuff from reached. tier 1 to Logistics tier 0 to 4. Improved by the means of a container with increased storage capacity and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. I will now not use those at all, because I don't need them. <laughs> Nothing I'm doing is going that fast. The thing is, the only thing at the moment is that I've realized I could upgrade all my miners to Mark II miners, but I would need to, like, double up all my factory infrastructure as well, or I'd have to gather enough slugs to overclock everything to double speed. So it's like, oh, I can't really... I can't really overclock this in the time I have. If I had the time... To, uh, to go around and upgrade the miners and then upgrade all the infrastructure following the miners, then that'd be great, but I don't. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is start just, like, making reinforced iron plates myself. Because that's the, the current limiting factor. In fact, how many, iron pl how many reinforced iron plates does it make take to make a... Uh, one of the structure things? Hold on. Oh, tab. I need to gonna sort my inventory because I've got 400 on me. How many does that get me? Uh, it takes three, so it only gets me 100 modular frames. But that's 100 modular frames. Let's sit here and press the button. And we have some time for questions from the audience. Let's see, four, four hours of, of talking tires you out. <laughs> my voice will at some point fail. Have I considered eating my keyboard? No, I need that. Or are you asking someone else? Uh, oh, we're out of, uh, of rods. And back to it. I could, I could come back with another stream after eating, but... That's a lot to throw at people. I don't know. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll return. Um, but I, I'm trying to get things wrapped up with this one. I feel like we wouldn't get another big stream out of the rest of it. I just want to see what tier 5 and 6 are. Um, and I'll be happy with that. Then I know what's in store for me when I go and do the series. And uh, probably starting tomorrow will be the new satisfactory series. Uh, where I'm going to start from the beginning and then use what I've learned to build a much better factory the second time round. Because there's issues with this one. There's many issues with, like, long-term throughput and being able to upgrade stuff. Like, I literally built a self-contained factory building that I can't expand out of, really. 
this monstrosity. At the very ne least, when I build a factory building, I can make it a nicer colour next time. Oh, don't start with free speech, Electro Halo. It's not how free speech works. Does anyone have the XKCD link? Um, if you, I don't, if you, yeah, if you post the XKCD link for the, the thing about free speech, um, I will, I will allow that link post. Yeah, please someone find that link, because that is the perfect explanation for, for how that works. There we go, we've made all of the, the frames we can. Let's see what state the space elevator is in. Did I bribe you to play Factorio? No, he wants to play Factorio. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? It's an awesome game. <laughs> okay, here's all the frames I've made, so we're halfway there. That's good. Uh, how long we got? 25 minutes. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's connect up these belts again, because this is fine now. Oh, y'all getting stuck on things, weirdly. There we go, that's connected back up. These are moving in a, a much nicer clip now, which is always good to see. How's the supply of reinforced plates going? I bet it's still looking pretty damn good. Yep, I'm going to clean them out. I'm going to clean out what's here, because it's going to take time to run through what is, uh, what is here. There we go, exactly 300 of them, because that is a good ratio, because you use them in threes. Oh, that, up. Oh. There we go. And down. Oh, everyone linked it at the same time. Hold on, right, let me just uh, allow this. Wait, no, I can do this on, on my other PC, that's easier. Um, I'm going to just hit show on all of them, so that it's very clear that this link should be clicked. I remember now, it's a really memorable one. He made it XKCD1357 which is a really nice way of remembering which number it is. So yeah, talk about free speech, that's what I'm going to send you. Now we need to grab a crap ton of this again. And back to pressing the button. I'm considering a block rock. Uh, what do you think about the way the build button flows during or glows during prolonged use? I, well, I talked about it in my series. It was really weird because it's like, why is it uh, like is it going to explode at some point? But apparently, it doesn't ever like actually like break in any way. It's just a, a nice visual effect. It's just a nice touch to add to the to the game. All right, we're done here. <laughs> you didn't listen. Let's see. Uh... There. He's gone now. Uh, I believe I've got pizza to eat. How did you... Do to use the save you have done in the beta. If you mean how did I start up in the same save as before, that's just how it works. If you had a save in the uh, the alpha test weekend, then if you install the game and play it, your save files will still be there. You can just load them up. So that's what I did. Okay, that's another... 100. Okay, we only got 150 to go. We're looking pretty good, but we're running out of reinforced iron plates. I don't want to take any more of these because now the supply is running down. Now I need to start making the actual reinforced iron plates myself. So that's going to require vast amounts of screws and then standard plates. So we have, conveniently, an old storage here full of a stack and a half of the thing. So that's going to give us a nice head start. And I don't think that it's Hawaiian pizza, because pineapple on pizza is heresy. My family understands this and would never uh, attempt to serve me pineapple on pizza. 
Right, let's throw some of these together. Do I have any plans to do collabs? Yes, you should see some very soon. Uh, and we'll see just how uh, multiplayer works on this. Because I heard it was a little bit janky, but they might have made it a little bit better in, in the time since the, uh, the test weekend, because they will have just had a bit of time to work on it, presumably. It's a good way to, to get a lot of bug reports, is be like, okay, for one weekend, everyone can play, let's see what happens. So if there were any issues they were having, they'll, they've will they got more... They might have more means to, uh, to work out what they are. Yeah, factory traversal gets more and more hectic as it goes on if you don't have sort of a standard system. Um, I mean, the, the thing to do is have walkways just going over the top of everything and then uh, ladders or stairs going down to, to key locations. Pineapple on pizza is heresy. It's a mixing of sweet and savory that is not acceptable. I will not allow it. No pineapple pizza on my watch. Yeah, I've seen a couple bits of multiplayer and it's it's it seems like it's ropey, but it also seems like it's good enough that you can play the game. Like, it seems like the ropiness uh, comes along in, like, combat and exploration, whereas in base building, it seems like it's not too bad. So, that, that'll that be interesting to, to, to test out. Tomato sauce on bread is already a mixture. Tomatoes aren't, like, sweet, though. Like, not... Hmm. Hmm. Listen, it's heresy, okay? That's just how it works. Well, yeah, iron chests are heresy in Factorio. In Satisfactory, the, ch the the storage crates which happen to be made of iron are fine because there's no, like, better one that's a, a million times better. The thing is that storage is on a completely different scale in this game. It's kind of weird, whereas in, in Factorio, the storage limitations are quite important. In this, I don't know why you would ever need more than this amount of storage for something. When are you going to need more than, th uh, what is it? 24 stacks of something in Satisfactory at any one time. There's times where it might make sense for, like, train and throughput reasons in Factorio, but I'm not seeing it in Satisfactory, which means that my statements for Satisfactory do not apply to... Um, my statements about what is heresy in Factorio do not apply to what is heresy in Satisfactory. But pineapple on pizza being heresy is universal. Of course. Oh dear. I'm being I'm being branded a heretic now. Usually there's more people on my side about this. Okay, we managed to get 28 of them. Not fantastic. Uh, what are we missing? Everything, actually, it looks like. Yeah, we've got loads of screws. We're missing plates and then rods for the, uh, the other stuff. So, let's just get tons more of these. And keep up the good work. Did, did, did you guys hear that? Oh, it's you! Bloody hell! It was the, it was the bloomin' like, re-entry bang. I didn't know he was still gone! How long did that research take? I guess it was uh, one of the fancier tier fours. I thought something had blown up somewhere. Jesus. All right. Yeah. Back to what we're doing. Right. Yes. I had a heart attack there. We're almost there. We got 15 minutes to go. I think we're gonna make it. If we just make all of the uh, the frames that we can make right now and stick them in there. Okay. That's all that. Uh, back to making the frames. And go, well, we can only make, like, ten more of them. Oh, this is terrible making the, the reinforced iron plates myself. Right, well, let's put in what we've got and see where we're at. Also, this music is nice. 
not sure if I've heard this this particular track before. Then again, usually the music's very much a background thing. It's just there to contribute to the atmosphere, and you don't notice it, which is often a good thing. When it's there and it's providing atmosphere, but you don't realize that, that there's really music playing, it can uh, show that it's at its best. We're almost there. Reinforced iron plates, we need more screws. Oh, we can just make those right now. We can make 2,000 screws if we like. That should about do it. I do read out super chats, but if you super chat something I don't want to read out, I won't read it out. It, it's like, you can't force me to say a thing. That's not, a, that's not how anything works. It's all about it's all about pineapple pizza now. That's the entire chat. I've 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 ruined everything. <laughs> right, let's do what we can with that. Don't even give a chance for the button to cool down before we set it off again. Ah, but yeah, seeing as we're getting towards the wrap up point, I guess I'll talk about uh, what's going to be coming in future. So, um, shortly after ending this stream, my intention is to start recording. Uh, the next series of Satisfactory, where I start afresh uh, with with new knowledge and see what I can do uh, now that I know what I'm doing, vaguely. And I might have like a main bus from the beginning and cool stuff like that and see how that all works. God, yeah, we can, it's, it takes so many plates to make anything. I've made another 15. Ugh. Uh, so yeah, I'll start recording that, and that will start probably tomorrow on the channel. Uh, then there will be a multiplayer series starting, which you'll see very soon. Um, that will probably start the day after, I imagine. Uh, in the meantime, there will be more Factory Town, of course. People are loving that right now. We only need 30 more, we're so close. Uh, there will be more Factory Town going on, and I'll try and find time to fit in Factorio, Vulcanoids, and Kingdoms and Castles in amongst that, but right now... Uh, Factory Town and Satisfactory is the stuff that people are loving, so I'm going to keep making it. And we'll get back to the other stuff once people calm down a bit. But thank you very much, Thomas Morris, for that £20 super chat. Hi, Bentham. Been a member for a while now. Also, pineapple is a delicious pizza topping. You are a liar, Thomas Morris, but I very much appreciate that super chat. Thank you very much. There go the silver coins. Will they hold... Oh, wow! They really disrupted things there. They managed to, uh, unseat a gold coin. Always impressive. Also, thank you very much, Courier3, for that $2 super chat saying, Say this. There you go, I did it. I did the thing. Um, what are we missing here? We're missing screws. More screws for the screw gods. Now we're linking a different XKCD. Which one is this one? Huh? You have to tell me which one that is. Oh no, there's a pineapple emote. We're doomed. Need more iron rods and probably more iron plates too. And we're using them up quicker than this is producing them now. That's not a surprise. Yep, that is the this is the last of the rods. We have all of them now. This is it. I think it's enough. Let's make... Uh, more screws. That Bentham, I wanted you to say this, not say, say this. Wait, what? <laughs> now I'm confused. Uh, so Colin, you cannot catch up. We are ten minutes from ending. <laughs> A four-hour stream. You won't be able to, I'm afraid. I'm very sorry. Okay, and modular frames. This is going to be, I think, the last time I make them, because I imagine that the actual factories have been doing a good job as well. We've got another 12 to, to give to the space elevator. We're just desperately scrabbling for every last one. We're going to make this work. I'm never doing this again, by the way. I'm never manually crafting to complete the space elevator quest because that's... We've done it! That's completely against the, uh... The principles of Satisfactory. Ceiling. Oh. 
sending. Oh, there's an animation now. Oh, hey there. That's cool. Well, see ya. That's neat. The whole thing moved and it fired it. That's cool. And thank you very much, Thomas Morris, for that uh, two pound super chat. Uh, that seems to be pineapple pizza, pineapple pizza, pineapple pizza, pineapple pizza, pineapple pizza, over and over again for quite a while. And in early access, we can't go currently beyond tier six, but that's a hell of a lot more than we've got to so far. Let us see what can be unlocked in tiers five and six. Yeah, they added the animation since uh, since the Alpha weekend. Neat. Okay, so, right. Oil processing. We have an oil pump. Extracts 100... Ex extracts 100... Extraction rate. Extraction rate, not extrate. What? Extraction rate is 120 resources per minute. I believe it produces barrels currently. There are no pipes. Everyone keeps asking for pipes. It's become a meme at this stage. But currently, it's barrels. Oil refinery. Automated by feeding parts into it. Doesn't really say much there. And then we can make plastic. We can make fuel. Uh, we can make rubber. Uh, we can make circuit boards, which are presumably like plastic combined with copper wire and stuff. Uh, and then we can uh, scan for oil. Then here uh, we have industrial manufacturing. We have the manufacturer. Four inputs, presumably one output. Nice. We have the truck, a, a much larger scale vehicle. And a computer, which presumably is uh, another product that is made out of circuit boards, I would guess. Then up to tier 6 we have expanded power infrastructure. A fuel generator consumes fuel to generate electricity for your power grid as an input so feeding fuel can be automated. Very nice. And the, uh, the conveyor belt Mark IV, which looks very different actually, transports up to 450 resources per minute. I'll take that. Also jetpack. Plus five inventory slots, jetpack, and then gas mask, gas mask, and filter. Can I make the jetpack right now? Oh no, it needs five heavy modular frames. I'm never doing that in the eight minutes I have remaining. Why do, why do you do this to me, game? Why do you torture me so? I can't do anything tier six. They all require 50 heavy modular frames. We're nowhere near making those. Um, this is something that maybe we could manage. 50 modular frames, we might get that many eventually. And we probably have 50 motors right now, so we could try and lock that and scan for oil, but we wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Will we make a truck in the time? What do you need to craft a truck, I wonder? I'm just going to keep trying to push it, aren't I? It's like, I can keep going. We can we could do more things. We must unlock more stuff. And yeah, so you can presumably use the gas mask to survive the poisonous gas that is all over the shop. Oh, that's clipping straight through. Oops. How many have we got building up? So we've got the production going quite quickly, so there will potentially be a lot of them ready. We need 50 of them to do a research. And we're at 30. So eh, we can probably research the truck before we're done and build one and see what it looks like, at least. Unless it needs fancier tech to, to make, which is a definite possibility. I'm just going to hang around here and keep looting this till I have 50. Oh, that's the wrong button. Loot. Loot, loot that, no, loot. Loot that one. There we go. Leap. And continue. Nice. It's nice that the gravity's low here. It really does help to move around. Okay. Uh, we need three more. There's one. There. And there. And... Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Come on, there. No, grab it. No, grab it. <laughs> grab it. There we go, got it, right. Let's go research the thing right now. Wait, I need motors too. Crap, I should have done that sooner. Oh. Why are there barely any? Are they going in? Are you telling me the entire set of motors has actually fed into the, the space elevator and is now gone? Even though the space elevator isn't asking for motors. Why? 
Would you do this game? Also, I like how I can stand on here, but I'm then wedged in here. I can't actually go through. I can't have 50 motors now. Damn it. I don't want to make stators. We've got six minutes. Welp. Unless the stator supply has died. No, that's still going fine. Huh. Okay. Um, we can try putting the stuff in. I can dream. I can hope. As if it'll somehow work. Select milestone. Put in the things. Oh, I've got an extra one. How did I even get that? Weird. And yeah, we're way short on motors and there's not an easy way to fix that. But I'm still going to work towards it. I refuse to give up. And we'll meet, we might come back to this save again because it's a save where I have progressed far enough to explore the later game stuff, whereas it's going to take a long time to get there otherwise. So we might see this again in, like, probably whenever I do any sort of one-off thing, I'll probably pop back here. Unless I end up with a more interesting factory that people would rather see later down the line. Yeah, the requirements might be locked, but, te but uh, technically still there. It's a possibility. That's annoying, because I, the, the belt was so full of motors, I just need to go over there and take them. And they all just went zoop into the space elevator and don't exist anymore. Thanks for calling out the time. Indeed, we have four minutes remaining. And we have to cut it right then and there when it happens. Okay, I think I need 300 cables for this. That's all the space we have, so let's see if that's enough. Uh, it is not. Let's sort the inventory, because I'm making a mess of this again. We need another 70. Uh, I had, yeah, I had a finale. Episode 12 was the finale, but I decided to return to this map to explore the new features. It was the finale at the time, because I'd run out of days before um, it, the release would happen for to upload videos, and because I'd run out of content in the game at that point, pretty much, I, I deliberately explored everything uh, before we got to the end, so... That was the finale, but then I decided that we would come back to this now that there was more that could be done. Oh, these aren't making being made anywhere near quick enough. We're never going to do this. Damn it, there were so many. They were all just there. Ready to be taken. And it takes steel and stuff to make a stator, so I can't just chuck them together. Actually, I have a bunch of steel in my inventory. Maybe I can chuck them together. Like, how much, what does it take? Let's see. Uh, oh, steel pipe. We can make steel pipe! Right? Do I have steel on me? Yeah, I have steel on me. I can do this. I can do this. I'm gonna make a crap ton of steel pipe and then make a bunch of stators and then I'm gonna make all the motors I need myself, damn it. I don't need any machines. Manual crafting forever. If I deconstruct- oh, I could deconstruct the space elevator? That's an option, but that's- that- I don't- mm, That's gonna mess up a lot of things, potentially. I'm not gonna go over, don't worry. Oh, I'm not gonna make this in time, though, am I? I've only got a minute and a half. I'm not gonna be able to make the... the motors in time. I think physically I do not have the time to do it. I definitely don't have the time to then make the truck and drive it around a bit. Damn it. I mean, I managed to unlock the researchers and see what they were, which was what I wanted to do today. So everything else on top is gravy anyway, so I'm just not getting my gravy. Which is a shame, because gravy's nice. Alright, we've got to cut it. We've got one minute remaining. Let's finish this here. Uh, I'm going to go stand on a thing. Do we have a watchtower nearby that's nice? Not really. Oh, there's this one here. I'm just going to stand on this watchtower. So, that is Satisfactory. That is the Satisfactory Early Access version, with a lot more stuff to unlock, and a lot of stuff that I am yet to unlock. So there is more to be done. Um, but that's all we have time for today. I have to end the stream here. I'm going to go to this thing. Let's go to the break screen. Before we finish, we have 30 seconds remaining. So, um, thank you very much to everyone for coming to watch. It's been uh, quite the epic stream. 
reaching 500 views at some point, which I've never done before. Um, we've got lots of more satisfactory content coming, as well as Factorio and Factory Town. All the Factory Game stuff can be found upon my channel. And uh, there will be more streams, more series, and more stuff like that. But with that, I should say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.